Um, make sure this is working. Looking good. Da, 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 da. Sean, Tom, big love, guys, give me a sec. Uh, right. Uh, they're muted, guys. So if uh, don't worry about that for uh, for a minute. Um, we're just sort of we're sort of just setting up. We're all running a little bit late. We're all running a little bit late. So uh, James and Dave are currently just speaking to their chat, which is what I'm doing, speaking to you guys. And uh, we are where are we? We are going to unmute ourselves in a minute and uh, start talking. We're a little bit late. It's a, it's a bit of it is my fault. A bit of it is my fault. Um, because uh, Zoe got out of work late, so I got home late. Uh, Sean, Tom, Holly, Greg, Lloyd, Sarah, big love. How are you all? Cal, thanks for the like. Lloyd, thanks for the like as well. Right, I'm going to uh, unmute myself and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Which one is it? That one. How do you buy what? Sorry. I'm trying to link the like a a, a game or something. Do you uh, just do COD? I just did COD. Yeah, yeah I've I've just I've just put best talking buddies. I don't know if that's the name of a game or not, mate. I've just tagged that. <laughs> best talking no, I... buddies. We're the three best friends that anybody could have. <laughs> oh, mate, my uh. <laughs> Jeez, you all right? Yeah, like it's just I'm trying to tag stuff in it, but do you know what? I'm sure they've changed things on here. Oh, they have. They have Facebook live changing things when you think you've got the hang of it. Yeah, I know. You think it's all over? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we all live, are we? I'm live. I am locked, loaded, and live. I'm just oh, right. live. My uh, wonderful chat. All right, all right, cool. So uh, we're ready then, are we? It should be, mate. Should be. All right, cool. So uh, here we are again, Gamer Brain episode two, uh, with my lovely co-host Irish Vader, James. Say hello. Give it. That's it. Okay, fine. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and uh, and special guest, the man himself, Dave Saxon Gaming. Dave Saxon. Dave oh, Saxon. Jesus. <laughs> Dave Saxon. Yeah, Dave Saxon. Yeah, Dave Saxon. Jesus. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to talk. We're going to talk with Dave uh, about his uh, experience with streaming. Uh, and uh, we're going to go a little bit into where the passion for gaming came from, where that started. And uh, we're just going to talk a load, of, a load of crap, to be honest. That's what, that's what the plan is. Do you know what? I am... Buzzing for this. You bet, I'm excited. Like, I mean, I'm always excited. I, I, Dave I, is literally like a child in a sweet shop right now, guys. Off stream before we even started, <laughs> he was sitting there going, I can't wait. Let's go. Let's go. I look. Let's go. Seriously, <laughs> I, I've never worked so hard in my life to get home. Like, <laughs> I was telling Hey, I that was means a lot. That means a lot. See, even this was just literally like a little idea that we both kind of said, you know, it would be really nice to do. Um, you know, we put a bit of time into it behind the scene and everything. And, you know, it's nice to see that, it, uh, you know, people are excited about it and people want to come in and they want to see it and they want to see what's going on behind the uh, behind the scenes and uh, in the brains of streamers. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what to talk about. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Dave, uh, Dave, welcome. Welcome uh, to the uh, the show. I suppose it is a show at the end of the day. Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for being here. Um, no I suppose uh, we're going to have to start up with what was your first ever gaming moment that you could remember? First ever one was GTA London. Oh, Is what? It? Bird's Eye View? Bird's Eye View. Jesus. Bird's Eye View, mate, honestly. And there was another game called Driver. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I loved Driver. When you, it was that that mission always got me. Uh, when you were in the in the garage and you had to do the slalom, I was like, "What's a slalom?" Oh, mate. <laughs> it made you it made you do all those things before it let you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The kids aren't gonna know, but we know. 
Yeah. Like, Colin McRae. Who remembers Colin? Like, yeah. Rally. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, PS1. Like, that's... What... No, actually, Sonic the Hedgehog on that black box. Sega? Sega. The Mega Drive. Or the, game, or the GameCube, was it? No, no. No, no, no. no. You want about, no, you no, about the Sega Mega Drive or... Sega Mega Drive. Oh, my God. Sonic the Hedgehog was my thing. Like, I loved that. Loved the game. Like, and then Spyro the Dragon. Oh! Oh, what a game. What a <laughs> game. <laughs> this, this is it now. We're they just, just going to talk never, about old games. Made it. They, ne- they never actually made it as good when they uh, when they made it second round, second time round, though, did they? Well, that yeah, nothing, nothing is usually better second time round. But, you know, no. it just is what it is, mate. Um, So how long ago? So on the Sega, so that's what, mate? That's like, how long back is that? That's, you're talking years. Mate, a long, 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 long time ago. But, but, like, honestly, I think the first time you pick up a controller or any sort of gaming experience and you're, you're completely new to anything, right, it's either really stressful or the best time of your life. And, and I remember... Like buzzing, playing like Spyro the Dragon. Believe me, I used to have my mates around. We used to spend hours playing Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot. Oh, mate, I could talk about this for ages. Like, <laughs> I've got a question, right? Because obviously, me and Pointy haven't done the whole like where we interview each other and find out each other's uh, first ever gaming experience. But mine personally was uh, Hercules. Oh, yeah, that was on the Mega Drive as well, wasn't it? No, it was no? on PlayStation 1. And it was like, you, you're literally like running across the screen. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a... Yeah, yeah. And dunking yeah, and like yeah. jumping. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That was mine. And no, I've never heard anybody else ever say, you remember playing Hercules? I, I played it. I played it. I played it. Mine was, um, I, mine was uh, my parents got me an original Game Boy for Christmas. That was like 94, 95. I used to go. I used to go through plenty of Duracell batteries on that thing. Tell you what, um, but yeah, the yeah, old that was Game Boy. Yeah. Uh, oh, when did Pokemon come out? Uh, I, what the way. first Pokemon video game you on about? Yeah, because there was like gold, red, uh, blue, yeah, and red. blue and red, blue and red. Uh, well, sit back, guys. Let me tell you, because I know I was there. Uh, <laughs> okay, <funny. laughs> Blue and Red came out. I think it was oh, bloody. Hell. I remember going, and my mum, me, my mum, and my brother went, and my mum bought me and my brother Pokemon Blue and Red because you couldn't buy them separately. They came as a pack, the blue and the red. And my brother took okay. the red one, and I took the blue one. You're talking that was early 2000, I think 2000, 2001, something like that. I used to um, love my Game Boy. But yeah, I used to live on that. I used to live on that. I still love Pokemon so wait, now, mate. 2000. So you're talking, it's like 20 years eight. ago. Yeah, mm. I would have been eight. Wow. Yeah. Mad. Um, did, I'm just looking at the list of questions we've got here. Uh, Dave, randomly, first thing, is your green screen one okay. that pulls down from the roof? It is, yeah. Yeah, I well, thought it's that. not. It's, it's not, but it's one that I... So is, I uh, moved into my house... You yeah, just nailed it to the room. roof, have you? I, I've screwed it up. I've got timbers <laughs> up there. Honestly. Like, That's I'm not brilliant. Even That's brilliant. It's an Elgato green screen, right? You know, the the long one. And then it, it what upside done, down, basically. Yeah, I've turned the feet. You know, you turn the feet to, like, support it, yeah? So yeah. I've put, like, two screws in the front and two screws in the back right trust I'm me i'm literally because it's the it same works. one that's the same one i've got but you telling me you've just flipped yours upside down and screwed it to the roof basically yes, that's mate, what yes. you've done. mate you know they do ones <laughs> you know they do ones that you can just mount to the roof don't you yeah but i didn't know that until i did this <laughs> <laughs> i i even tweet i tweeted to, to i tweeted to elgato saying you need to get on this oh i'm not even joking gosh. you should have you should have put that Let- on dragon's den mate Mate, I, honestly, honestly, and do you know what the worst thing is? Right, so, like, not to bore you or anything about green screens, but I went to a um, a community hall today. I've been been working in a community hall, and they had a green screen that was gigantic, like absolutely gigantic. It had a different name to Elgato, but must be twice the length of I get um, the Elgato one, mm. and it goes twice as high, but the mechanisms are literally the same. Okay. Like I kid you not, it's in a community hall and it is it, it is it's gigantic. So I reckon they robbed the idea 
off of the people that were making this thing for the community hall. Seriously. I don't know. Like, I mean, these, them, uh, I can't even remember the actual names for them, but they're actually signs. And you see them in shops. You see them everywhere. And all they've mm. done is just just done a green sheet, basically. Yeah. But it's like it's like a, it's not even material, is it? Or is it material for you guys? Yeah, it is. Or yeah. is it nearly like a plastic? It, yeah. No, it's like an actual. Or... It's like an actual green stitched sort of. Oh, okay. Like, so real thing. So you can thing. actually, you can actually, you've probably seen them in shops where it's literally like a, a little thing like this, and they just pull it up, and then there's a stick in behind it, and mm. it holds the actual. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Up. yeah, yeah. So that's where the the principle of it comes from. At the end of the day. Um, right, I'm I think... um, yeah. so yeah, I just thought because I just saw the top, the top of it at the bottom. I can see it at the at bottom, bottom of this thing, yeah. Because <laughs> I know mine's at the top. I'm thinking oh, he's, he's got one of those ones that comes down from the roof, but he just DIY'd it himself. <laughs> no, mate, 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 I've, I've Jerry rigged it. I mean, or I mean, I mean, that's that's something that would be like in your range of expertise, though, right, Dave? Like you uh, do construction, or you have a company or something, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a qualified carpenter um but then um i've got my own business so i install like loft ladders insulation um we're working on pretty big contracts and stuff uh government endorsed things and yeah like i, I run my own, yeah running the own my own business but it's primarily carpentry based if that makes sense okay cool yeah i mean if it works so it's very it works hands -on. you know yeah, he's very hands-on um hey, uh... talk to me dave so when so your first your first time playing a game when yeah. and from then was it was gaming always a thing like in your life from then or was there like a specific moment that gaming became a thing for you um yeah so so basically like you had you had all like the old playstation <laughs> one game right so you had them games that you would have with your friends um the first ever game that i played online and i really do think this is the, the the point where i absolutely fell in love with gaming was um call of duty 4 okay so, New, modern, modern warfare yeah yeah modern warfare and modern warfare so, it yeah was... so well, well, it wasn't there was there was call of duties before it but the, yeah but the first time i ever yeah. played actually online with with a group of my friends um back then um was cod 4 and that's where i really started to get into it if that makes sense yeah um that's the point where i can i can actually say um like just just my mind was blown the first time i ever spoke to my friend across o online because it was never like that Do you know what I mean? it was never like that first time i ever spoke to my friend online and then we was hooked like literally i'd skip school i'd and literally to the point of addiction right playing pod four um that was the point where I, I really did fall in love with with gaming um if that answers the question yeah yeah good yeah. good you've gone it keeps going out of sync for me um on your end when you're oh, talking really? yeah yeah it just did it there as well when he said oh really try and speak again it Hello? Yes, yeah, so, and now it's yeah, back. Now it just keeps doing again. it. It yeah. keeps putting you out of sync randomly and then putting you back in. What? I'm not sure what okay, it is. Okay, let me sit closer. If I sit like this, is that all right for you? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So fine. the cameras is yeah, fine. fine. Yeah, fine, fine, the perfect. Is fine. Um, all right, okay. So, and what about, what about when you decided to start streaming? Because it's a whole different thing that just playing to actually streaming is like two completely different mind frames i feel so when when did you sort of first think like you know what i'm gonna start streaming myself playing all right so um so to be honest streaming for me has been um nothing it was nothing new for the recent years if that makes sense so i used to be very much into like content creation and everything in like 2009 in modern warfare 2 okay so in modern warfare 2 um I had a thing called a dazzle. I don't know if any. So should I should I tell you how it first started, right? And this yeah. is this is like a bit of a long story. But you guys like you was all like similar ages, I think, right? Yeah. So when you first started, I just you wanted to clarify to... that I'm the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, how old are like? 
Do, do you mind me asking how old you guys are? James, is, James is 14. No, I'm not. I'm 23. You're 23. Okay. No, I'm, I'm 29. Not, no, he's he not. Believe me, he's though. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, no 23, mate. Right now. <laughs> I'm 29 uh, in about two weeks. All right. Okay. I'm 29. Yeah, and I'm 29. I think and, when he, when when's right. your birthday, Dave? Uh, 26th of December. Okay, so Jesus, so I, am I? I think I'm the oldest, mate, because I'll be 30. Oh, oldest. really? Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, you look the oldest. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair, I've. I mean, to be honest, I've got the biggest willy as well, so it makes sense. Like, do you know what I mean? So, oh, I don't know. Okay. It's all about the girth, mate. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know about <laughs> that. The only, the only, the only girths on your bloody forehead. But anyway, uh... <laughs> um, so yeah, and what, what were you saying, Dave, about a dazzle? What's a dazzle? Right. Okay. So I mean, when he well, first said like, that, like I was before. thinking of a jazzle. That's what I thought. But, I right. thought this is that's a different type of content creation. That's like Dave's OnlyFans back in two thousand and nine. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to subscribe to Dave's Only Fans, it's onlyfans.com forward slash Dave Saxon Gaming. <laughs> Make sure you get 15% no off with way. code Jazzle or whatever it is. <laughs> no, I, like, so honestly, uh, I, I can even talk you through the process of like game recorders kind of thing, right? So, right. Like, oh, wow. Right. So, first thing I got, should I just start from like kind of where it started with like content? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where, right. where was the moment basically in your head that you were like, you know, I want to start creating content. I want to learn how to do it. I want to put content out there, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever it was at the time that you actually decided to use. Um, so, tell us, tell us, tell everyone that's watching. So, I used to play like um, multiplayer with my friends and I was getting a lot of good kills. Like, people. People, so it started with me like I, I had like some crazy games and people um basically couldn't believe what i was telling them in terms of like kills in games and things like that so i started recording on i think it was my mum's flip phone on a bookcase on a load of books behind me and um i started showing my mates and they were like well they weren't um too impressed but like some of them were like wow yeah yeah that was crazy so um Long story short, my mum, I broke my mum's phone and decided that I needed to find a way to still show my friends. So um, I went out and researched it. And bearing in mind, content creation back in like 2009 was like pretty much videos were around on, on YouTube, but there weren't many Call of Duty videos around. So learning this was a completely different experience, but I found something called a Dazzle DC 360 or whatever it was and you literally had about a billion cables and you were capturing at like 20 frames a second right so long story wow. short it was terrible so um i started making like these little clips putting them together and um had a trick shot started coming around so i don't know if you guys know about like the quick scoping the montages that were coming yeah, yeah. around like trick shotting with fame and things like that so i i had like crazy kills on the dazzle kind of thing but the quality wasn't good then before things come out like things were progressing quite well with like the recording a thing called a hd pvr come out i don't know if you guys know it nope no, no. HD no. PBR. And it's all it's all mate, it's all gone out of sync again as well, your end. I don't know what what it's doing it. Is it's it's not something oh, in yeah. the call, is it? It's not like something in the Discord call. No, it's de it's definitely not because we, we we're not having the same issue at all. And it's I not mean, gonna no, it's not gonna be because like we're that. in a personal call rather than in a Discord thing, is it? No. No. All right. like that. How can I go to my settings? Maybe it's something to do with the settings. I think it's it's weird because it's like when you talk and you talk continuously, it like it goes out of sync, and then when you stop and start talking, yeah. it like corrects itself. Yeah. What like is... you were when you were speaking there, there was like halfway through, um, you said something and it was like completely out of sync, and then next thing I, I was looking and it actually went back into sync again afterwards. Oh mate, I don't even know what's going on. What's your uh, is your no, mic is your microphone on Discord set to your is it set to your Blue Yeti microphone or is it set to something else? That's what I'm trying to sort out. Hang on, like this is gonna mess up my thingy. How do I go to settings in here? Mm, it's down the there bottom. Isn't it? Bottom bottom left. Settings. Yeah, bottom left, and then voice and video, and then input uh, audio input or whatever it says. Yeah. All right, let me just. 
All right, can you hear me? Yep. Yep. All right, let me just change it to the to that, and then just see if if that works. That, right. that might be. I just changed it from the RTX to the actual microphone. Oh, okay, fine, fine. All right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just see it. Just see how that goes. Um, so yeah. So I carry on. Yeah, yeah, boring? yeah. Go for it. Go for it. No, no, go for it. All right. So you had a thing called a HD PVR that had a million wires that used to connect into it. Like literally, the process used to be red in red, green in green, like five cables. Then you'd have to do exactly the same cables underneath and this was just to record your gameplay right uh, and it would glow blue so started capturing and i was getting gameplay and actually at that point um i was approached by someone that was really really technically minded um that started showing me things on streaming so they were showing me like um twitch was just around like coming around like the beginning of black ops one kind of days um so black ops one come out and um he wanted to trial it but he couldn't do it himself because he he had a few problems so i decided that i was going to try it um i then started up with teams and things like that you know quick scoping trick shotting um and my love for streaming started i'd say at that point um but the content so what, creation what year, cycle, what year would we be talking here roughly you know so the videos started in 2009, um, towards the end of Modern Warfare 2. Um, after Modern Warfare 2, you had Black Ops 1. Um, so Black Ops 1 would have been around 2010. Yeah, it was, it was 2010. Should, should, should be around 2010. So that's when I first, first started streaming. Um, I streamed for probably about six to eight weeks continuously um and had so many problems with it and i had so many other things going on that i just decided that maybe streaming isn't right for me if that makes sense like i just i wasn't getting the viewership i wasn't getting like the... basically for me streaming should be fairly stress-free right so like it should be th something that you have fun with mm. it should be stress-free um uh, but at the time when you when you're having so many technical problems uh it just it wasn't fun and it got to the point where you're not streaming if that makes sense because of all the problems that you're having um so yeah like in and out then um went through a whole process of creating videos so there's a lot of my videos still on uh on on, on youtube unfortunately they're still around um, was it was it always dave saxon gaming no, I, and I like I used to go by the name of D4 it? V3. Oh, okay. Right, so I used D to go. Oh, okay. Right, so... okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got an exclusive <laughs> D4 V3. So go check him out on YouTube. So, <laughs> this... hey, if you, so this is the, so I've got something exciting to tell you, right? So, um, I was one like this is no one ever lie. I was one of the first people in the Call of Duty community on YouTube to sing their own intro, right? No one ever liked. So you know the song, right. Black and Yellow? Black yeah. and Yellow, yeah. Black and Yellow, yeah. Right, so my name, mine was, um, wait, should I try and, should I try and sing it? Like, you, you can, can look you this can up. You can try, mate, you can let, try let's if do you it. want. Let's do it, let's do it. Right, it was, um, it was like, yeah, uh-huh, you know who it is, D4 V3, D4 V3, D4 V3, yeah, uh-huh, <laughs> you know what I play? Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Fucking <laughs> hell. Mate, I, oh, I had wow. that, yeah. I had that, like, made, like, produced, actually produced by someone that was, like, a rapper at the time, right? And he sat down and we went through it and it was produced, it was put out there. Um, and I got recognised by a lot, of <laughs> a lot of people for it. Like, well, Was one of them people. Dr. Dre? <laughs> no, like I like, like I'm talking like Call of Duty teams. Okay. Like there was a one called the Truth Clan. So the Truth Clan, believe right. So this is this is saying different. The Truth Clan was the biggest team around before Phase Optic, any of them teams, right? And a lot of the players from them teams mate were in Phase and Optic, which you guys uh, do you know Phase and Optic yeah, now? Yeah. yeah. Team Envious, you know all of these people. Yeah. Um. That was that was the team that I owned on on YouTube. Um, that did amazing, and it all started because of that song. It all 
my content creation and everything um in fact started from the truth clan um and it it was big it was big it was like 50,000 like subscribers back in like 2010 11 was i mean that that would have been like having a like 500,000 now yeah yeah that's a lot you know like back then it wasn't as i suppose accessible for anyone to be able just to pick up a phone and check out a page or mm you know create a page or yeah. as dave was saying there was so much that you had to do to actually make some content or whatever like it just wasn't like even the internet back then would have been shocking as well and you know yeah so robbing your next door neighbor's internet and you know yeah. do you know, do you know what I, mean? I mean i still do it like, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm doing that right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, if the electric cuts off and the stream cuts off it's probably i've not paid the uh electric bill <laughs> oh man <laughs> That's kind of messing um like, yeah go on go on oh no, do, do you want me to talk about like more modern times like what what my new pages on facebook and things like that how i started on facebook or um yeah yeah how so why one of the things for you is well why did why facebook rather than other platforms was there a reason for that yeah and i think it's um for any streamer quite uh in my mind, it was quite self-explanatory in the terms of everyone uses Facebook. Mm. Like, um, so sharing out your... So the one thing I love about Facebook and always have loved about Facebook is that for a streamer, um, if, if you've got all of your friends on a platform that you can click a button and then automatically they see it, well, that's going to be a lot better than platforms like Twitch where you have to use, like, external platforms to promote your stream if that makes sense yeah uh, whereas with facebook everything's in one place um whereas i've tried to it like build, uh, like a profile on twitter and it just hasn't really worked um whereas with facebook i know that i've got i don't know how many friends i've got on facebook at the moment but it's, it's kind of like a massive boost uh, it's that initial boost that you need to, to growth um so that's why Facebook really stuck with me. And then um, after that, um, it was just kind of, I don't know, like a lot, a lot of, a lot of people seem, you know, nice. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's, that's the other thing as well. A lot of streamers on, on the platform were nice. A lot of people. Um, so um, I know this might sound a bit weird to some people, but one of the first shout outs I had when I first started streaming was Nitro Luke. So I don't, so, um, you know, obviously he's a big streamer. Uh, I know he's not to everyone's taste, but um, he took the time to talk me through things um, and, and actually talk to me in stream. There's been a lot of other streamers that helped me before I even started streaming. Um, Y8, um, Dead Eye Dan, you know, you guys probably heard of him. Um, mm. I kind of started at the same sort of time they did. And like, I remember in Black Ops, uh, Blackout, sorry, the amount of times like me and Y8 would come up against each other, you know, I'd kill him or he'd kill me. And then like people would come into my stream, oh, you're stream sniping Y8 and all this. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, you know, I was a nobody and he was blowing up because if I remember rightly, he, himself, Deadeye and Nitro were like really close and they're always playing together. Um, yeah. And I was trying to get in that mix, trying to get into that circle with people. So yeah, probably a senior around that time as well yeah because i met i met when did i meet was it in blackout that i met you james originally would have been, yeah it would have been it probably would have been with matt the matt yeah, strategy I'd say so. I'd um, say so, yeah. and to be honest I, like streaming back in blackout i thought was a, a lot easier to grow back then than what it is now um just yeah, because of 100 percent obviously saturation and things like that within a game and streaming them and the platform itself um so yeah they like that's uh that's that's basically like my my first initial i guess you could say boost into 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 streaming was the fact that i had a lot of friends in one place and a lot of streamers that were talking to me even though i'd never streamed before so that's yeah. the reason i chose facebook so we actually have uh, we we actually have a couple of questions in our questions 
but it's okay. kind of nearly common knowledge to myself and to Pointy. Now, Pointy's already highlighted them, but um, it's like, what made you come up with the name Dave Saxon? And, you know, tell me about your streaming gaming name. Is there a story behind it? But, like, for I, I think just for anyone that doesn't know, that's his actual name. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, there is no story behind yeah. it, I don't think, is there? Like, or is there? Like, that's the thing. Maybe his um, name's not Dave Saxon. Maybe, maybe it's like this one we Edward. find out his name's not even Dave. <laughs> <laughs> he was just Let's, like everyone would just be like, "All right, Dave." <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it could be Rodney, couldn't it? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, no. Um, well, actually, there is a bit of a thing to this, and um, so there was a, a massive. Do you know Nade Shot on uh, Nade Shot? Yeah, yeah. So Nade Shot was massive. Is still massive on on YouTube. Um, he said once in a podcast he wanted to be known not as um, who, who am I talking about? Here? I've just completely Nate shot. Nate, Nate shot. Nate shot. <laughs> Nate shot. He turned around and said that he doesn't want to be known for the rest of his life as Nate shot. He wants to be known as his actual name. Now he's still known to me as Nate shot because that's how I was known him. But he wanted to start being known as his own name, and I thought actually instead of going by like. D4, V3, which having numbers in my name kind of was a bit of a um, bit of a weird one for a lot of people. Um, I just went with Dave Saxon Gaming because I wanted to be known as my name. And as I thought there's nothing more powerful. Yeah, and there's nothing more powerful than that, I don't think, because I can go anywhere. Yeah, no, it's yeah. very true. There's nothing more powerful than your name. Like, there is not. Like, if you get your name out there as it being a big thing, like, let's give an example. President Trump, you know, imagine he came up and it was like President D7, you know, like who's D7? Like you don't actually know. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to give an example, you know. Um, yeah, so I think I, I completely agree with you on that as well because it's something that for me now, further down the line, I've thought of changing my gaming page name to my own name. I have done. Yeah. And yeah. I'd I like thought about it today again. <laughs> it, like it's just something that yeah, I do. I think it it gives you that that sense of you know, you know, it's as you said, it's a power kind of thing. It's like mm. your name is the one thing that no one can take away from you. No, but then there are kind of not downsides to it, but you're found you're you're more exposed with it, mm. if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, so there is that, but then. Honest, if if someone really wanted to find out who you were, um, I'm sure you know they would. If if that makes sense, um, I, I honestly think it's a really good thing to do. And then if you're successful at it, then I, I think that it can carry on throughout other platforms. Yeah, um, but that's just the way I've always seen it. It's good because it's like you're just representing yourself. You just you. There's no there's no thing in front of it um but yeah. yeah it's good mate i could never see myself being alex older gaming it just doesn't have the same ring doesn't have, i just think it sounds like i don't know it, it, to me it's like nah, to say it sounds like terrible it sounds terrible i'd be better off a1 e x gaming or whatever it would be with numbers and i'll be better off with that um yeah <laughs> um i'm just trying to have a look at what are the what are you streaming at the moment You're streaming mostly call of duty yeah, Call of yeah. So like Call of Duty for me now is like pretty much the only game that I'm streaming. Um Okay. I've looked at other games. Um but I haven't I haven't been streaming a lot lately either. Okay. Because of just a lot of different things. Yeah. Um all at once. Like I have a new baby due in nine weeks. Really? So Yeah. I didn't know that, so, mate. I didn't know. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I've already got three kids, so I've got so my hands full. Start a, as... Starting a football team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dave, Dave yeah. Saxon so Gaming three, FC. Three coming into four. <laughs> yeah, so okay. I've got a lot going on in a minute. So streaming has taken a bit of a back back seat, but um, I am hoping, like, over the next couple of weeks, like, um, because I am my own business, I can kind of control my day a little bit more than, yeah, yeah. than working, like, a set-hour job, if that makes sense. Yeah. And do you have like employees and stuff like that yourself as well, or is it just like uh, more like it's your own business, but you're doing most of the work? 
No, so it's it's my own business. Um, it was started with me and my dad. Um, my sister got in has got involved. Um, my mum does what she can. She she gets involved. Um, and then I have two employees. Well, they they're self-employed carpenters, but they're kind of always working for me anyway. Um, it's just the way that they wanted to do it. It works well for me. Um, if they want to go off and do their own thing for a couple of weeks and come back, then that's down to them kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of pressure on me because this is another thing as well. Some people have asked me, can I ever see streaming becoming a full-time job? And as much as I'd love streaming to become a full-time job, um, I have to sit there and think to myself that there's other people relying on me to provide them with wages, um, to support my family. Um, so as much as I'd love streaming to become a job, the reality is I could never give up my business just for the simple reasons I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to let got my family down and the people that I have working for me down because they are good, good guys. How uh, how long have you had your own business for? How long have you been running for? Uh, three years. Okay. So three years, but I used to manage another company um, as as the actual manager um, and kind of set that up with someone. It kind of went pear shaped. Kind of what they said and what they did was two different things and. That's why I started the business off of pretty much their business model. Is it is the business Dave Saxon Gaming Carpentry? That's what I want to know. <laughs> is that the name? No. D four. They, sh they shows up at the door. D four v three scaffolding or something on his top. I don't know, mate. I just think it'd be brilliant. Oh no! You know what they like? It, the, the business has done really well. Like yes. I, I'm so proud of it. So proud of it. You like, yeah, that's you that's be proud complete. of it. I think I think like that's one thing that you know you get you, you you can keep going and keep doing things and you know it's like you know you sometimes it gets to a stage where it's like you can never be happy but you you need to look at the positives you need to look at you know how far things have come and how far you know you've got to go but like at the end of the day you've started from nothing and it's built up to something major You've got to be proud of it at the end of the day. 100%. Yeah. I'm, I'm, 100%. I'm sort of one of these people with, uh, and, and the same mentality goes into my business as what it did with, well, what, what it, it did with streaming, especially over the lockdown. Um, it's kind of you hit one milestone straight onto the next one. Like, even though you're doing something good, like for me, building the business, building even the streaming gaming page has always been the same um kind of mentality which when i look at it now maybe did take some of the fun out of it in yeah. terms of uh but at the same time you look at what you've achieved like especially now i look back on it and i, I realize what i've achieved with it and um yeah, i think you need that self-reflection let's uh let's talk about what you have achieved on uh on facebook so when do you know do you know when your first day streaming on facebook was do you know do you know when that was not not my first day, no. Um, well, roughly it when it was, it was it was. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've been. I met James like so, uh, James and you actually not long after each other. That was just over a year ago. All right, so I, so I started streaming well before that. So um, I started streaming um, like properly uh, in blackout, mm. and I had a, my Facebook page was hacked, unfortunately. Okay, um, which is of a weird thing um in itself um so what what did they do they had... hacked it and you just couldn't get it back yeah so face facebook didn't have a lot of their security things that they have now as what they had back then so it's a lot easier i suppose for hackers to access your account there wasn't much two-step verification there wasn't a great deal to it and what they'll do is get into like your main profile and then from there they could access the pages link to your your account it's, it's the same thing that the same way that they do it now is what they did back then but it is harder now if that makes sense yeah um so i think when me and matt were streaming james i was at a thousand followers i think um and i had to restart the page i think that's it i think that's it so then i started um 
another page that got to 300 followers really quick and the same thing happened like same thing happened so it was definitely someone that was attached to my personal page um i think the answer to the question is whenever the start of blackout was is when i started streaming okay i don't know i don't know when that was it was a while that ago would have been one two around two two years two and a half years ago roughly yeah, two okay. and a half. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, fine. At the same time, that would have been even around the same time that I I started as well, roughly. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so that's when you started blackout, and when when did you did you? I take it you don't play blackout anymore. No, not now. No, not now. So I how how it. long did you do blackout for? Um, until Modern Warfare come out. Okay, so that was. How long has that been? Like, uh, oh, um, that was so. Warzone's yeah. been out for over a year or something now, isn't it? And yeah, so it's been out uh, a year and three weeks. So you know, and regular war, regular um, modern warfare was probably like a few months more than that, or something. Because uh, I think it uh, October, yeah, that... November. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it comes out in like October. And everyone was like, "Is there gonna be a battle royale?" Yeah, because yeah, yeah so also oh, must have been because the battle royale didn't come out till when, like March, March, March of and it came out in and the Call of Duty came out in November, so it's like you know a good four months. Because everyone, everyone was actually saying in Blackout, they were saying like, you know, is the new Call of Duty gonna have a battle royale? And yeah. everything suggested no, they're not having one. They're not having one. They're not mm. having one. They're not doing one. Yeah. Um, and I remember that you know that was kind of something that kind of put me off even wanting to buy and uh, get Modern Warfare, and I only actually ended up buying it after playing Black uh, after playing Warzone when Warzone came out for like three or four months. Then I decided to actually buy the full game. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. I didn't buy the full game. I didn't play any until Warzone came out myself. Wow, didn't know that. Yeah, I'm my first channel though i gained a lot of growth just from the multiplayer because a lot of people were sticking with blackout though mm. so a lot of people didn't like the fact that it wasn't a battle royale but because i played call of duty since god 4 i loved the multiplayer and and actually um my first raid come from luke um nitro luke on them beginning stages of modern warfare um that, that really was a help honest hmm. okay so i got a question did anyone influence you into becoming a streamer um, did you have a, a like another streamer that were, you've seen and you were like you know what i want to be like him yeah were there streamers you watched uh, before you started started streaming or that made you want to stream yeah and this is going to be somewhat kind of controversial but it was luke it was okay. literally, it was literally Nitro Luke because not only because of the numbers that he was pulling, um, but just, um, just, just from, from my own personal opinion, um, someone that I was message, I, I was messaging him behind the scenes, and to actually get a reply from him and to be in contact with him um, was kind of like a bit inspirational to to a certain extent. That you know, I'm watching this guy with, with, with thousands of people watching him and he's actually taking the time out of his day to, to talk to me and actually um, not only uh, talk about streaming, but take an interest in what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then some of the things he was saying, I was implementing in, in the stream. Um, and, and yeah, it wasn't inspiration because it, it, I think he said that, so this is this. He said John Cena started streaming and then and then and then um, tagged my post in it. That that was a really big point right. um, for the start of my stream. Yeah. Okay. He said John he said Cena. I look like John Cena. <laughs> well, yeah. And then and um, then people come in and you just disappear. You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like that that happened. Uh, so yeah, Nitro Luke. And Dead Eye Dan. Dead Eye Dan, um, I've got to give credit where credit's due. He did take a lot of time um, to talk to me, even though we've never played together. We've never actually spoke like this. Um, he, he took a lot of time to 
talk within the stream, if that makes sense to me, which I really did appreciate. Um, uh, I'm just looking at the other... Uh... Do you want to go for that one, James, the one you've highlighted? Yeah, go I on, think so. Go on. No, I mean, you, you were... Oh you, want, oh, you want me to... I'll read it for you, mate, if you want to. I'll do anything <laughs> right, for you. You read it, and I'll, I'll, I'll word Emily Masson. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dave, what has been your favourite moment streaming so far? Is there, like, a moment that you think back to and it's, like, your favourite memory of streaming? Was there, like, a moment? Um, yes. Um, but there's two. Can I can I say two? But they're both like no. You only get one. You only get one. No, yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Now you can do <laughs> right, both. So you can <laughs> there's many as you want. If it, I mean, like sometimes I, I I think that you know people don't realize is sometimes in streaming it's not just like there is one moment. It's mm. like sometimes there's like massive, massive highs. You know, you have highs and lows, but sometimes there's like massive, massive, highs. mate. So come off feeling I mean, like on top of the away. world. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've had I've had days like that where I like I finish and I'm just like you know I'm skipping into the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> when when was that moment for you, Dave? Talk to me. Uh, so so there was. Well, actually, can I say three? Right, I'm, I don't want to string this along. First, he's going to pull out yeah. the notepad in a minute. Right, I'm okay. I've got, I've got seventeen. Long, I've got seventeen. Right. <laughs> okay, go on then. All right. So the the first one was um like. To, to begin with, um, I didn't have many viewers or anything like that. Um, mm. I had, um, so it was the first time I ever hit 10 people watching me, 10 viewers. Okay. Um, and I had an absolute crazy game on Blackout. Um, and actually, a few of the people in there was was um, Soda Man Streams. I don't know if you know Soda Man so, Streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Soda Man, uh, he recognized me and he was like messaging like great game, like like kind of getting involved. And I was like buzzing. Like I come off that sh that stream buzzing that that this other streamer had recognized me um as a good player, which is very rare. Mm. Um but he he recognized it and I, I was actually buzzing. The second time after that was when I got um so you know how you get boosted with Facebook gaming, yeah. Um, around the same time, never happened. No, not for me anyway. Uh, it, happen well, it only happens for like they they say they they say it happens in your first like few weeks. I think I don't think it gets really boosted after that unless you catch the algorithm on like the right day at the right time. But to yeah. help, apparently, to help new streamers, they've said that they, they boost all your streams thing. for two weeks and then you're on your own. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, it was it was actually around the same time that I got mentioned by Nitro Luke. It was my first kind of glimpse of a boost. Um, where I think I think this is quite important as well. When you start streaming, um, you look at numbers and stuff like that. You look at you know how you can improve, how you can grow, how if, if what you're doing is right. And, and you know, I'm, I, I, there might be a question on this later on. So I don't talk. Is there a question on this later on? Um, like on on growth and things like that. Um, I mean, we can just do it now. We can just do it now, mate. Yeah. It's just it's so, just sort of very much go with the flow and see what happens. Yeah, go with the flow. Okay, so um, so you guys know this, right? So when you're starting streaming, um, and you're doing it for fun, you're doing it for fun. You're enjoying it, but you still want to see progression. Yeah, in, in what you're doing. Hundred percent. Um, so you want to look. At it. So, um, getting back to the original question as well, the first time, um. I was struggling for a very long time to, to to grow the stream. And then I got boosted by Facebook and had the shout out from Nitro Luke all within the space of a week. And that was a massive high for me. That was like, wow, like there's 300 plus people watching me. Um, I'm it's getting a crazy lot. likes. It's a lot. Shared. Yeah. Like, like that was crazy. Unfortunately, that was the time when my page got hacked. Um, you know, the second page. That was the, um, that was the second page. That was the second page. So that that page was growing, correct? Like that that. So you imagine you get to a thousand followers, you think that that's crazy. Like your numbers are good, your page gets hacked. You start again, you're doing crazy. You get like boosted, you get raided. Things are going crazy. Your numbers are going like you're on a massive high, you're on a massive high. Um, and then unfortunately I got hacked. Um, and then just to, just another quick one. Then you start up a page which is my current page, which I'm streaming on now. 
Um, and I remember playing Call of Duty, I didn't enjoy the Battle Royale side of it. I found it really difficult to go from the multiplayer, continuous playing multiplayer, um, then playing Warzone and not just just not enjoying it. I just quite enjoying it. Started something completely new, completely different, Free Fire, um, which actually was an extension from playing Call of Duty Mobile. I found out how to do it on my computer. Um, downloaded Free Fire onto my computer. Never played it, never streamed it, didn't know anything about it. In one stream, and it literally took off. I'd never seen numbers like it. Um, and was like, wow, this is mental. And the thing that helped the most is that I actually enjoyed the game. Like mm. I know some people might say it's sad, right? But I genuinely enjoyed the great game and I didn't know it was going to do what it was going to do. Um, but I enjoyed it. And that was the point when I had the third thing in that list. The third thing in that list was when um, I got over a thousand, I had over a thousand people watching me. And it wasn't just like, you know, like five, ten minutes. You, you're talking like a whole stream, and at the end of it, you've got like over a hundred thousand views. Yeah, and that 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 was a massive, like that that was massive for me, um, a massive high. Um, so does that answer the original question of yeah. the free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, the um, free thing. I was gonna say, I remember one day. How long was it before Free Fire properly took off? Did it take for you? Did it take off like really quick? How long were you streaming it before the numbers proper came? Um, so the first stream on a viewership level. So if you imagine you're streaming Call of Duty and you're getting like two or three people in, yeah. Um, on the first stream, then you're getting like thirty people in. Okay. Um, and then within within four weeks. Okay. Was so it took the beginning four weeks. I went from three hundred followers streaming continuously on Call of Duty to then five thousand followers within the first month. So you went from so from three hundred to five thousand followers in one month. Yeah, in one month. It's a big Um, jump. Yeah, but a lot. I actually remember um, when all this was happening because uh, you know on your actual Facebook pages dashboard you can like pick streamers that you want to keep just like keep track of and keep seeing where they're going and how well they're doing and stuff i had your name down as one of them and i was just like watching i was like jesus five thousand and i remember because i think i even reached out and said like what's this game you're playing because like obviously you know at the end of the day we've all got to be out there we've all got to be looking at what could potentially help our streams and stuff and i remember saying to you like you know, um, oh, I might try and get into this free fire and stuff like that because it's working for you. It might work for me, you know. And mm. then I tried to get into COD Mobile. I've tried. So, like, I remember, I remember watching your followers going up and like being in in some of your free fire streams and watching it and going, would this be for me? You know. Yeah. I remember. I was just gonna say. I remember just stopping by your stream one day. And I can't remember how many thousands of people were in there. I think it was like three or four thousand people or something watching, mate. And literally, I sort of I remember looking at my phone and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I looked at it and I was like, "And it's like you know, the chat was kind of like going, mate, and like I couldn't even see people's names and stuff." And I remember writing, I was like, and I was I was just kind of like, "All right, Dave," because <laughs> like, I said, "What do you say? <laughs> what do you say?" All right, yeah. Dave. Yeah, I've seen you just become an overnight celebrity, mate. What's uh, what's going on? But I was like, all right, Dave. And I was like, I was like, where have all these numbers come from? And like the the smile on your face, you were like, you were like, Alex, mate. I don't know. I don't know. And then it's like you were playing, and I was like, that's wicked. And I remember because I messaged James straight away, and I was like, I was like, have you seen what's going on on Dave's thing? And and James messaged me back, and I don't know if James remembers. James messaged me back. He's like, yeah, he's just blew up, mate. He's just taken off, and it was the followers were like so quick because like some days i you know i saw you some days gaining like a thousand followers in a stream hey uh, do do you know on the best day that i had um like in terms of follower growth um was four thousand four hundred in in like one in one day in one day four thousand four hundred new followers hey yeah i remember that that is mental that is literally more or less what i have like i have a thousand more than that and you got that in like one stream that's just that's crazy can i just say so like with followers though and and you guys will know this right even my stream today right is extremely quite followers 
do not mean everything like yeah when i first when i first started it was like right i want to get to 250 followers now 500 then a thousand and then you know so on so on so on um the followers it's it's literally just a number that that you shouldn't in effect take notice of even though i'm probably going to sound like an idiot for saying that but you will see now i have sixty thousand followers on my page right if i ever thought that was going to happen like it's, it's crazy to me but when i stream a different game other than free fire my, my viewers are like oh less than someone with like even a thousand followers you know what i mean so they i think the, the quality the, the problem is with um the problem is with free fire and and I, i'm not going to beat around the bush it's um a, a very easy game to access because it's a mobile game there's a lot of people that play it, but there's a lot of people that play it in places like India, places around the world where time zones are different. Um, so if you're playing like Call of Duty and you're trying to reach like an English market, followership doesn't transition from one game to another, if that makes sense. There's not a loyal following. So even though you're gaining thousands of followers a day and it, everything looks great, um, everything looks fantastic uh it, it really in effect now isn't if that makes sense yeah it, 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 i've got a page there with a lot of people that potentially could see my stuff but they're not interested but my page like they're just not interested do, do, you, do you know what i mean by that yeah, it's. Um, I'm sure you guys see. I mean, it. It, I think it's. I think it's uh, like. I mean, if I spoke for myself in in this one, I've got five thousand plus followers. If I stream Call of Duty, I'll be lucky to get to hold five to ten people. Um, I've been on the scene two and a half years or whatever. This stream, for example, today very quiet for me. Like nothing really happening. Not even fifty comments in the chat. You know, like normally streams are popping off and everything's going um so i think it it really does it's all about the game that you're playing and what you're actually doing mm -hmm. and where your audience was grown from um yeah. you know it's like my audience was grown from uh basically playing a certain game like if I play Assassin's Creed like Alex plays, or if I play a different game, the viewers go down, you know, or to nothing. You know, I played Rust for two weeks. I got hooked on Rust, played it for like two or three weeks. I was sitting there for 12 hours. No one, no one watching. Do you know what I mean? Literally nobody watching at times. It's... But I enjoyed the game. Yeah. That was the difference. That's it. You know, That's I, it. I really did. I enjoyed the game. And I never even knew that. I was like, you know what? Sometimes you enjoy the game. Sometimes you play a game for viewers. Sometimes you do this. Sometimes you do that. And I was like, what do I actually want to do? That's why I've started playing 8 Ball Pool. You know the game that you can get on your phone, 8 Ball Pool? Mm, yeah, 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 I started yeah. playing that on stream because yeah. I enjoy it. I play it off stream and I enjoy it. I'm good at it. Yeah. So like, and believe it or not, again, that has a lot of Indian and... Uh, that side of the world, that area of the world following. And I've actually gained followers from that, from just sitting playing a game that I actually enjoy for a change. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which is nice to see. Which... It is. It is. They um it's it's weird because <clears throat> with Facebook, Facebook is oh, how do you put it, mate? There's people say that you can't really I'm trying to think of how I can put it and not and and sound like i kind of know what i'm on about people say that facebook is like the hardest platform to be like a variety streamer on because of the pure fact the, of the way the facebook algorithm works where you play like your main game whether whatever that is and like people know you for that game and then you play something else and you know the people come in expecting you to still be playing that game and you're not and then they sort of, then then they, nine times out of 10 they probably leave the stream because they're interested in watching you and that game you know and they leave yeah. and then it's like the facebook algorithm basically 
just doesn't pick you up at all because mm. there's no there's nothing going on in your stream you know your boost your two week boost has ran out whenever months ago a year ago whatever um and you're playing something and it's just not picking you up because there's no likes there's no comments there's no shares like there's no nothing so it's it's really weird because i know i know i know the games that i play that are going to be more popular than others um and it's hard because I've always says, I've always says, and I said it to James, like, I just play what I enjoy. So, mm. I mean, it doesn't always work. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have I can sit and play, like, SnowRunner, which, would I say SnowRunner is my main game? SnowRunner is what a lot of people know me for. Um, yeah. And I can sit and comfortably have between 20 to 30 people watching like comfortable and we just i sit and i drive and i talk and it's like the stream's great and then it's like i know full well i can play assassin's creed the next day to like two or three people but i've um, got a question here i've got a question for you right because i remember when you made the transition from cod which mm. was your main game yeah because you know that was something that you loved and you loved to play yeah even before you know streaming mm. when you were doing them like you know your 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 previous streams let's say you know even they were all cod related first person shooters yeah i, pl I played every um, call of duty ever maze and i think that what what was it that made you say i want to play snow runner the call this is honest call of duty fucking infuriated me i i just wanted to i just wanted to not play it ever again i, I just fucking hated it so it's hard and i think for me, I was because I don't know. Is it safe to say that? I mean, it's maybe not the top. Is Warzone like the top, like popular game at the moment for streamers? Or if not, it's got to be top two, three, five, whatever. You for know, it's streamers for like viewers and believe stuff. Believe it or not, believe it or not, Free Fire is the most viewed stream on like, Facebook. It sits at about one hundred and thirty thousand viewers. Uh, behind that, it's PUBG. Behind that, it's Grand Theft Auto. Behind that, it's um, is it Dota? I think it's called. Or something. Yeah, Dota Two. Like I, I'm, I'm behind just behind that. It's probably Warzone with about twenty thousand viewers in total. Yeah, and them twenty thousand viewers are distributed over like, like all a, of the streamers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That are streaming Call of Duty, and it's saying there is now twenty thousand people watching, and then Stone Mountains Online. And you're going, well, there's 10,000. There's, of them. there's 10, 15,000 so of them that there. Means there's only 10,000 left. Wait, it's Thinned online. Oh, Finn's online. He's got another 2,000. If Nitro's on, he's got 1,000. Yeah. So it's like you've got to narrow it down. There's 5,000 people trying to watch Call of Duty streams or like maybe even just flicking to see Call of Duty streams. And they're trying to give, give viewers to people. But like, <laughs> that's why. Card is just it, it, it. It's a hard game to grow. It's nearly like you've got to make a name for yourself, and then you can swap swap games. Do you know what I mean? Nearly. Yeah. That's how I think of it. It's um. I... Go on, go on. I'm gonna. The worst thing that I ever did. Um, and 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 I'm not gonna beat around the bush about this, right? But um, when you're playing games like Free Fire, and I'll, I'll use my own personal experience, and this basically is what has been explained to me. When you're playing the mobile games, because they're so accessible, um, and you're you're playing, and people, like you would see it, Pointy, I mean, everyone could see in my streams, people literally, like, like literally begging for diamonds within the yeah. game. Now, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I used to play on it. I used to play on it. I used to be like, right, People want diamonds. I'll give them diamonds. We'll do giveaways. That was probably... That's why I'm in the situation I'm in now, right? Where yeah. I haven't got a loyal following because I was like, right, how do I need to, to grow? I used to think when I first started streaming, right? If you've got like 50,000 followers, you're earning a killing. Mm. Like, that's life-changing, right? Um, and I got there so quick. Um, but it was all for the wrong reasons. I was... I wouldn't say playing on... On, on the fact of like giveaways because every giveaway that I said I was going to do, I did. Yeah, if that makes sense. Um, to give back, but at the same time, um, I knew in the back of my mind, like, okay, there's and this, this is going to this is going to make and you're going to have to stop doing it soon. No, right. and it's going to make me sound like a complete like arsehole for saying this, but 
we live in a very wealthy country mm. where a few quid to us is a lot. Some other people in other country is a, a, an awful lot of money. And when you're talking about giving away sort of like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 quids worth of, of stuff within a game to them, to, to, I shouldn't say them, right. To people in um, like places like India and, reason why i'm saying india is because the free fire audience is very much an indian based audience, audience. if that makes sense for the, for the game yeah yeah 100 right? it makes me sound terrible right it does make me sound terrible but then at the same time i felt at that time doing the giveaways was giving someone an opportunity to have something within the game that they potentially couldn't afford to have right and that, i know it makes me sound bad I don't think it does. I don't, I don't think, think it does, does because of, uh, to be to be honest, all you're doing is you're using, um, you're just using. Um, how would you put it? You you've got a tool at your disposal that you can use to your advantage. Like there's nothing wrong yeah. with it. The thing is, the thing is. So for people that don't know, for people that are watching, so diamonds is the in-game currency for Free Fire. That's what they use to buy like cosmetic stuff, like skins and. It'd be uh, like V bucks or card. Yeah, points. yeah. I, 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 you know what, right, Dave? I just tell you something, right? I'm trying to grow currently on TikTok. I'm right now. I'm doing a thirteen thousand cod point giveaway on TikTok. That's a hundred, hundred euros, right? 100 euros, about 90 pounds, roughly. Okay, so I'm doing that on TikTok. Now, I don't know if there's a way to to boost your page on TikTok or anything like that. I'm not really into that. What I am into is I'll do a giveaway. Now, it got, it's stretched over the whole month, but it's a 13,000 cod point giveaway. And in it, I'm simply saying, right, if you want to be in it, you've got to follow, like, and share, and tag two people in the comments, right? Mm -hmm. So it's bringing, like, stuff to it. That TikTok is probably sitting at about five to 6,000 views. I did a TikTok where I uh, donated 8,000 stars to Maestro uh, because he set his star goal at 8,000. And I was, it was the 1st of April or the 2nd of April. I was like, yeah, here you go. You know, fucking keep going, keep grinding and everything. And he was like shocked. Made that into a TikTok. That's got about 30,000 views. So, like, giveaways don't always mean everything. Like, they don't always mean that you will grow something. Yeah. It, it is working, but sometimes I just simply did a, a, a different video, a completely different video, and it went further than a giveaway is going. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, from that one video, I got more followers and more viewers and everything and more likes and reactions than a giveaway video. And, like... I know how we were saying, like, giveaways can be bad. Giveaways can be good, they're bad, they're, they're a bit of everything, but at the end of the day, it's a tool, use it. You know, if you can afford it, do it. If I could afford to do a giveaway every single time I went live, which I tried to do once, it yeah. was like 1,200 card points. Every single time that I went live, I was like, I need to minimum be making this back every week. Yeah. Plus more on top. That's more. I think you know, that's what my plus, problem was. Like, like you saying that, um, so I wasn't receiving, um, let's say, hardly any stars. I was, I was receiving some stars. I wasn't receiving hardly any stars, but the amount that I was actually giving out in the giveaways was was literally hundreds, hundreds of pounds, like, um, um, well, maybe not even a, a month time at some time. So you, you're doing like hundreds maybe every week. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you, and then it doesn't become financially viable. And then you sit there and you do start to question things. You start to, you start to. Not, my my way of seeing stars and um, things like that. I know that we didn't really want to talk about this, but my thing was never about stars. My thing was to be like to be sustainable and to to to, to get to the point where you can say that you've made it is when you're living, you're earning revenue off of the advertisements that are placed do you see what i mean like yeah like the advertisement space the, the stars um they help massively when you receive them but my biggest thing is um for i think for a lot of big streamers as well they say that they they've made it when they're living off of um, ad revenue it's ad revenue yeah because it's you're, you're not relying on a on a on a donation on someone on 
someone's kindness, if that makes sense. You, you're yeah. actually being yeah, realistic. Then... I, I don't think that streaming is a, um, a very secure platform in relation to, you know, if you simply are, which I'll hold my hands up now and say that I do monthly, I simply rely on the generosity of my community to get me through monthly. <laughs> Am I ashamed to say that? No. You know, it's I, I've worked hard. I've I've put everything I have into it. I don't expect it, but when it when it happens, it's like, wow, thank you so much for yeah. allowing me to keep doing this. Because if it wouldn't have happened, I would have had to stop doing this completely, completely stop doing this and go get a job. Yeah. Because there is yeah. places hiring and I could easily go and find a job. I'm more than qualified for a lot of different jobs and I'd be able to go and get a job. But there's also the side of it where it's like, I want this to grow. Of course, yeah. People. Chasing the dream. Yeah. Chasing yeah. That's the dream. It. And yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, like, I, when I quit my job, for example, to start this full time, like, to actually go and say, right, I'm full time. I've took the leap of faith. I'm doing this. My community was like, we're with you. You know? Mm. So, like, it's, it's just nice. It, it's, it's hard, though, when you have to rely on one source. Yeah. Like, there's no other source. It's like, if there's no stars in a month, what do you do? What 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 do I do now? Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, but that's why, like, say, for example, if I had ads, or if you had ads, or if, like, you know, you got, a, you got money from an ad that we put up every five to ten minutes, and you get three seconds per viewer that's watching, you've got 50 viewers, X, Y, Z, you're making so much money now, fucking every five minutes just from them sitting there watching it's a different story isn't it definitely i um i just wanted to say back to for a second back to the uh, whole giveaway thing i don't think it, it didn't make you sound bad at all because i think if you think about it realistically free fire if we just put it like <clears throat> straight all on the table free fire is super popular in like india and malaysia and places like that um, because it's a mobile game and i'm assuming that's just because of how that that the like those places are structured like i've been to india you know and it's an amazing place but i can tell you one thing no one there has got like a gaming computer do you know what i mean no. so it's like it, it's smartphones are like easy access to playable games do you know what i mean they don't they don't have to cost a full i mean they do now like you know smartphones cost you know more than my computer but you can get a relatively good smartphone for a lot less than you can get a relatively good computer. Do you know what I mean? So it's like mm. mobile gaming is huge over there in like India, Malaysia, those sorts of places. It's huge over there. So when they stop by and see you streaming and the equivalent, when I went to India, the equivalent of working a whole day for the average person was the equivalent to like, it's less than a pound. You're talking like maybe 50p or something for a whole day's work. Do you do you guys ever happen to see the uh, the guys that do the vlogs, uh, Simon something on Facebook? Like the, there's like three or four of them, and they do all these traveling vlogs. Do you ever see them? No, I don't think uh, so. Not, so there's a, there's so. like three or four of them, and there's a few different pages, and literally they go around and they've got like a GoPro on a selfie stick, and they go around and they're like in India, they're in like just everywhere around the world. And he's like, yeah, so how much is it for a hotel? And they're like, oh, it's uh, 500 rupees or whatever. And yeah. he's like, oh, no, I'll give, you, I'll give you 300. And he's like, okay, yeah, 300, let's go. And he gives him, a, and it's literally like a mattress on the floor. Mm. But that's his room that he's paid for or whatever. I don't know. I, I'm making up figures. I'm making up the scenario. But it's like from what videos that I've seen. And like, that's how they, you know, create their content is by going to places like that. And, you know, showing people the world, I suppose. And you just see how it is so cheap over there. So, like, it's like the money they make is is nothing. Yeah. And when you are doing your giveaways for $50. If, if you it, know, you're talking, if it's 50 quid, you know, you're talking, that can be, like... A month's salary. And, uh, like, more than that, probably. More than that. So, you know, it's like... So I don't, I don't think it makes you sound bad. It's just... It's just reality no. like you know that's that that yeah. would be for us for the equivalent like if we were what that's like the equivalent of us 
watching someone doing a giveaway for like i don't know a few thousand pounds or something do you know what i mean that's what that's yeah. like to them in 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 their in their you know reality that's what it's like for them and that's what it'd be like for us you know so it's a lot it's a lot so it's just it, i don't think there's anything wrong with it you know if you're using a give you know giveaways are sort of one of those things where people will definitely show up because everyone wants something for free do you know what i mean but it's yeah. like the problem you have is holding on to those viewers after the giveaway is over so like mm. when when i do for me when i've done giveaways I, I tried to do it at like special points like i did one for like a thousand followers because then it's like i had a chance to build relationships with those followers as i was coming up to a thousands you know mm -hmm. and then it's like i try and do uh or have been doing uh supporter only giveaways every month because then in a way it's like it encourages people to be supporters but also it helps me to build relationships with people and try and give back to them, you know, for the support they're giving me. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, if I, like, ev like this month and last month, uh, I did a £100 sneak gift card giveaway. And it's like, you know, if a supporter wins that, you know, and it's like £3.50 or $5 a month, you know, that's like their, you know, they've made money off of being a supporter. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like... You know, and then yeah. it, it, I think I think doing giveaways for no reason doesn't really work. But if you've got like if if you've got like a plan behind it, like a process in your head, you're like, right, you know, if I do this, it gives me a chance to build this, and then hopefully those people are going to come back again, rather than because it's it's so easy to get caught in the habit of just doing giveaways to get people back. So. Yeah, so you know it, it's but streaming is like a it's like a learning curve for everyone. There's no there's no it's not like it's not like when we reach the level up program, Facebook dropped a book on the table and said, "Hey, here's your guide to streaming." Do you know what I mean? It's like mm. we've all just had to work it out for ourselves. It's just very much work out for yourself, and that's it. You know. On that as well, a lot of people did try and do free fire based off the numbers that I was pulling. So yeah. there was no there wasn't there was hardly any people in um hardly any there was there was i think i put myself down as the only english free fire streamer like literally yeah, i would i, I would say so that. i remember i remember was it something like um was it british or something it was like british free uh, fire streamer i remember yeah. looking and i couldn't find i didn't i mean granted i didn't scroll there for ages but once i went on there it is lots of people from other countries you were the only you were the only person in the uk i knew streaming free fire at that time streaming. but yeah so we'll talk about that so you know obviously people saw your numbers and thought i want a bit of that yeah, and I don't blame people for it. Like mm. I wouldn't like I would be the same. Like, um, but to be honest, the I wouldn't say the frustrating point for me was so there was two streamers that were big, like up to like, I'm not gonna say their names because I don't wanna it it, it might come across wrong. Okay. Uh, they're nice people and we've had we've spoke basically since the beginning, but as soon as they saw my numbers they wanted to start getting involved in things, but then it started getting to the point where I become a global moderator for the actual game itself on Facebook. I was like the manager of like a page with like a million followers. They wanted I, to get straight into that. So that I remember, I was just saying, I remember that because they they made you a they made you a moderator of the official. What are they, what is the company called? Is it like Garena Garena or something? So it's a Garena, yeah. So it's yeah. Garena Free Fire, and it's um, their official so it's page. The, they gave official you a moderator page. of, and it's a million million people on their page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but but alongside that, um, yeah. So they they wanted there was a lot of people that wanted to get involved, but then they wanted to get involved not just in the game. They wanted to get involved in the moderation side of it. But the way that they were going about it was completely wrong because at the end of the day, um, the way that Garena um, saw it was that I'm an English streamer basically doing extremely well on a platform that could potentially in effect become like an in influencer for other English people um, to play their game. Now, what, what they did wrong, in my opinion, is that they, they would set a price for diamonds, say in places like India, but then when you come over to like Europe, the prices rocketed. 
So the, what the, what they wanted to do was try and get as many English people playing the game because they're profiting more oh, off. Oh, okay, the okay. Diamonds, you see, yeah, yeah. Okay? So like, so this is where um, this is where a lot of people don't know um, about it, but it literally got to the point where I was approached by the developers of the actual game. So not Garena, they were called One 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 Studios, which they are the developers of the game they have a say in everything in the game it literally got to the point where i was talking to them and saying like you need to improve this we need to be doing this they would then give me diamonds in the game which were worth a lot of money um in the actual game so i could buy like as soon as something new comes out so say like a new outfit comes out i'd buy it straight away and then 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 in their eyes as an influencer the other English or European players would want that outfit. Yeah. And they would buy it. They'll profit of it. And then before you know it, you start getting involved in contracts. And <laughs> this is where things start getting like a bit messy. Uh, you start getting in con involved in contracts that are worth. Do you want me to talk about this or not? I don't know if you want me it's to talk about it. Yeah, you go for it, mate. You go for it. Are you are so, you legally allowed to talk about it? Is it a confidentiality agreement or anything or not? If not, then I mean. So rigid, yeah. So I can't I can't explain exactly what was involved in the actual specific contract because it was officially a job, but on a on a a, a life changing amount of potential money, basically. So. Um, so, so who is this? So, this is from the developer of the game One 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 Studios, whatever they're called. It, um, I can't say exactly. Okay. okay. Um, I, I won't say anything, but I can say that you have the developer, you have the people that um like are producing it, kind of thing, along with the developer, and then you have people that own own it. So the okay. people that are off in the contract, they're the people that were people that owned everything. So that that basically worked with developers, worked with the producers. They were the ones offering like the contract. It's like the so, board, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's like the main heads. Let's say. Yeah. So, so when you're talking about that, and you you think of a game that's producing millions of of you know millions in pretty much every single currency because of how big the game is, right? You start to realize that that one person that is influencing, you can imagine kind of how big the contract is, but then with it comes a lot of stuff. So you're contracted to play that game. Um, and then with it comes um, advertising budgets to promote your page, which is another reason why my page was doing probably a lot better than what other English streamers were doing. Like, there's a trend, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot that goes into it. Um, but yeah, the contract, even though it looked good on paper, um, but I'll, I'll talk about this. This this is something that has never been said. Um, but the people that were producing that um, contract, there's developers within the game that get very jealous of someone making more money than them who just comes onto the scene, plays the game, and earn, is earning more money than them. Um, and then don't feel like you 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 own your space within that business as a contracted influencer a lot of people don't like the word influencer right right so this is where the hacking comes involved this is where you start seeing my page going downhill um is it, sorry is it just of, me or is, is is dave's mic dipping quite a lot is uh, it? i've got that i've got it i've got the delay between him talking and i don't know what it is mate it's it's not like your it's internet really dave your internet's not like dipping out is it Sorry, okay. it's just it 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 it's like um you were saying words, but like the it it was literally like you could see you say it and then hear it. It was like oh, really? you were waiting for the the sound to hit the mic. I don't know what that, it is. Is that, is that better? Do I want it closer? See, it's it, for me. It just keeps kind of now. It's yeah. Now yeah, it's it just fine. keeps kind of lagging. Like there's there are just moments where your 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 speech and your mouth moving doesn't match up, but it's like it keeps correcting itself. But I don't. Other than really? you having issues with your internet, I don't know what it would be. I have no idea. Um, Is that any bad? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's back to normal. It's corrected itself again. 
I don't know. It's weird. Sorry, I, it, it, it's just catching me off guard because I'm like, I'm trying to listen to everything as well yeah. and take it all in. And mm-hmm. like, sometimes I'm like, wait, what did he actually say that? Because I'm like, not catching right. it. Uh, so anyway, you were saying, and this so, is where we've seen your page start hmm. dipping, is what I think you said. So this um, is where um, a contract was in place. Uh, advertising budgets was in, was in place for my channel. So you're seeing it rising, rising, rising. It's starting to go from not just Facebook advertising, but you're starting to see like advertising through different social like media. sponsorship and stuff like that. So was this, at this time, were you actually contracted with them? Um. So we went through a trial period. Okay. So within the con, so w- within them sending me the contract and me accepting it, it, the agreement was like a two to three week trial period. So yeah. within that two to three weeks, I've gained close to fifteen to seventeen thousand followers. So you imagine it's 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 steady, and then all of a sudden it's going right up. Right, so you're getting advertised from like left, right, center. Like people are investing in basically you to play the game, um, and you're not getting paid for it at that point until you sign the contract. But you're, but, but the way that they, the way that they do it is they're like, this is the potential that you're going to see. You see what I mean? Like you, you're going to continuously see this, and this is going to keep on happening if you sign the contract. Basically, it's a way of them getting you in. Um, However, within that time period, I started noticing things happening. Um, I was in like a lot of group chats. I was in a lot of uh, talks with people. And there was one person who was an Indian. Um, he was a Indian a developer, an Indian developer, but was living in Germany or France or, or Europe, basically. Um, and his thing was he wanted to be like the head person of Europe very much. He wanted to take control of Europe. And obviously within that, I would be under him, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but this is where things start getting bad. He found out how much the contract was worth, didn't like it, and then started going down routes of trying to control the advertising budget from their end, slowing things down to the point where it wasn't happening. Um, and then started going into the, I had a conversation with him. Um, I've, I've mentioned this on stream. So I had a conversation with him and said, like, what's going on? He said he didn't like the fact that I was white, become very racial, white, Jesus. English, and becoming successful, right? Literally, that's the reason. And he, he, he backed it up because he said that Venom Entertainment, who Venom is... Um, I don't think he's Indian. I don't, I don't think he's he's Indian. Um, but but how do I say this without making me sound racial? Um, is it mixed race? Like I, Venom's mixed race. I guess we, I guess so. I guess so. Right. But do we just say black? So Venom's let's just say Venom's black, living in England. Right. That the, the difference between me and Venom is that I'm white. So this is where it become very racial. He targeted me instead of Venom. Because Venom's growing, Venom's at a hundred thousand followers now. You see, so Venom's carry on growing. Venom, for all I know, could have the same contract in place as what I did. But this guy was targeting me because I was white, English, and was basically blowing up. Um, you know, and earning more than potentially what he was. So this is where the hacks and the reports come into it. Um, and I, do you want me to explain the hacking and the reporting? <laughs> If you want, if you, you guys, want, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like again, again, Dave. Like all this is just giving, like, pointed viewers, your viewers, my viewers, an insight into you and what's been going on with you and yeah. gaming and everything like that. Be- because everyone, so everyone has a, uh, everyone has a different thing, mate. And that's, I tell you what, that's nothing like at the streaming journey I've had. That's you know, it's yeah. completely different. Same, so same. you know, like I, I, I'm listening to this going. Holy shit! That's for, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking that is fucking. I've got people in my chat that are like, "That's fucking mental." Yeah. So you imagine, on one hand, you're you're given a pot of gold, right? Mm. You've got you've got a pot of gold there, but what you've got to do is sign a contract that you know ties you in. And and this is going back to like my business and things like that, and family 
friends and this person um, attacking your page to the point where you're seeing the rise. You're, you're seeing it rising and rising and rising. He gets involved on more of a senior level and then you're starting to see things drop. So um, to be honest with you, I didn't sign the contract. Um, I wasn't going to sign a contract working under someone that was basically a racist um, and was basically, um, it, it just goes against what I'm about. I'm, I'm like not racist at all. Like I don't, you know, person's religion, color of skin, everything like that doesn't faze me at all. But for him, it was obviously a, a key factor in in why he was doing what he was doing. Um, hacking, he blatantly spoke to me about it and said, if I stream Free Fire, he will report my page every time I stream. And, you know, you're talking about someone that's extremely clever um, when it comes to computers. And um, you're talking about someone that has access to a lot of people, if that makes sense. Um, so the reports were coming in, in in basically the thousands. So if you imagine um, like Alex James, you're just streaming and then you're seeing notifications pop up on your on your dashboard to the point where it's freezing the stream because it's like notification, notification, notification. Um, and you, you're not just talking um, light things either. You're talking about uh, nudity you're talking about racism you're talking about um like violence um some of the reports that were put through are like pedophilia you, you know pretty serious stuff i remember you know I, mean? I remember um, your um your fifty thousand follower thank you stream um you got reported yes. for um your stream got reported mm. for you apparently you were trying to self-harm yourself when in actual fact you were literally there celebrating a huge milestone 50,000 followers and i remember you telling me like your stream got mass reported for you trying to self-harm yourself when you weren't so that's that's where it started so so that that reminds me so i hit 5,000 then i hit the 30,000 then the advertising kicked in and we went all the way up to close to well over the 50,000 because i remember that it was happening so quick. I don't know if you remember, but basically, um, I tried to do the fifty thousand video for fifty thousand, and it got all the way to fifty five so quick before I could even release the video. And then from there, it was like crazily slow because the they they basically this person had dropped the advertising budget for everything mm. and was reporting my page like crazy. So yeah, that thank you video for fifty thousand was. Uh, a, a happy time you know yeah I, mean? I, I stopped really by i stopped by mate and you were buzzing you know and it was like the stream was going mm. well there were people in there and um did that stream because was it i think you said to me i remember you saying to me something like facebook hat facebook um i don't know if, it, if you would call it the algorithm but i'm just going to say the algorithm like facebook algorithm has a thing where if your stream because Facebook can't personally monitor I just, every... I was just about yeah. to say this exact thing. Facebook can't personally monitor every single thing on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. at once. It's just not... You know, all the billions of posts and videos and photos, and not even not even just streaming, but everything on Facebook can't be monitored at, at the same yeah. time. So the... Um, apparently, you t and this is what you said to me, I remember you saying, like, the Facebook algorithm, if, you're sh if something gets reported so many times it automatically takes action yeah so this is how they this is how they go this is how this person was going at me so so what 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 they would do is that they know basically what you've just said they know that, that they have control if if they don't want you streaming their game or they don't want you streaming um they know that if they have any any type of um access to your account to your personal profile that's linked to that page they've then got a double whammy on you so what they do is they personally attack your your personal page and they personally attack the page that's kind of they're going for so what they'll do is um they, they find your page and then every three seconds so i think every three seconds a, a new report can be made to facebook and what they do is they leave the report running so if you if you could imagine um not trying to bore you here but no, no, a, mate, a this warehouse is super of... interesting for me Same, yeah. yeah so 
If, if you could imagine a, a warehouse, to be honest. <laughs> if if you could imagine like um, it, it's like a hack bot. If, or a, a report bot. This is how they 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 class it. A report bot. Um, every three seconds, a new report is generated, and your they they only can report you while you're live. If that makes sense. So they only, they're only reporting you when you're live because it's a live video, and it gets acted on quicker if it's a live video than what it is. It, the reason why they do that is for things like suicide. If that makes sense. Mm. Um, so if someone's potentially going to commit suicide right let's, let's just say it as it is potentially going to commit suicide facebook are not going to want to show the actual suicide mm. you see what i'm saying yeah yeah so they want to get it off as quick as they can so if they're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of reports on this live video they will take action um and it's the same process that he that, the that algorithm this person... will the algorithm will take action automatically i'm guessing yeah so this is how yeah, it's basically. But one night, I think I had thirty-three thousand reports within a period of a live stream. Whilst you were um, that, that stream, you were live on got thirty odd thousand reports. That, that that stream, that stream. So um, then the next stream that I did, I had warnings coming up on my dashboard. Um, my my actually, I couldn't go live. That was it. I couldn't go live for at least two days. Um, the only benefit that I had was that I was in the process of talking with a, a Facebook um, admin um, who the Facebook admin directed me to uh, pretty much um, like their report procedure through the dashboard. I don't know if you've seen it. Like, you, Yeah, yeah. You've got a problem. So um, I had to officially put a report in um, and actually managed to speak to someone quite high up within Facebook um, kind of explains exactly everything that i've just said to you like um the reason how i got in contact with them was through a facebook partner um and we had a good conversation about it and since that day um they've been in contact with me um because of the size of my page basically so the size of your page does play a big part in what facebook are willing to do for you if that makes sense okay um partnership as well so the partnership program they'll offer you a lot more support than someone that's just on level um, up let's say for instance just coming into the level up if you see what i mean yeah um which i was offered a partnership i don't know if you guys know i i mean i i do you remember that day when i, I found out before you did mate do you remember <laughs> Do you remember what I? Uh, yeah, I I was scroll. I remember because I know a few people at the time who were who had applied for Facebook partnerships, and um, and I was I was just going through, and I clicked on Dave's profile, and it didn't. And it, instead of level up, it said partner. So I messaged Dave. I was like, Dave, like, well done, mate, on uh, getting Facebook partner. Like, proud of you, blah, blah, blah. And Dave messaged me back. What the fuck are you talking about, mate? He didn't have a clue. He didn't have a clue. And I was like, and he, he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, and I knew then. I was like, what do you mean? Like, you're, you're a Facebook partner. And he was like, no, I'm not. And I literally sent him a screenshot of his homepage where it said partner. And he messaged me back. He's like, oh, my God. And I was just like, what? How have they made him partner and not told him, like, sort of thing? That was uh, a weird moment, I'm imagining. So, so can I tell you something? Like this? So, so this is this is uh, exactly the, like one of the messed up things as well. Is um, so I got partnership, right? So I filled out the contract. And I can talk about this, by the way. Okay. Right? So the Facebook partnership. Um, when I I used to think when you get partnered on Facebook, that's it, man. You, you you've made it. You've hit the big time, mm. like. You're, you're living the life kind of thing right so it used to be like that i get through... you know that uh, yeah i, I, know that I imagine changed so it. i, I imagine uh, yeah, so they, they changed it they, they, they changed it but it used to be like partnership was you know it was a, a paid thing with facebook before yeah so now they've changed it to the fact where um you, you you're not um you're not paid a salary they just give you more exclusive things like gifted subs, things along them terms, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember this so clearly. So I, I, th at this time, I was like, I've got to get away from Free Fire. I've got this guy threatening me um, to, to, to delete my page and things like this. And, and everything was going wrong. So I was like, I can't do Free Fire. I'm going to play COD. 
started playing COD for about one or two streams, sent the contract into Facebook. I wanted to be partnered. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it was like a dream come true sort of thing, like in, in terms of streaming. Um, that stream had like 300 likes and I was like, wow, like this is, this is incredible. Mm. I'm being pushed by Facebook as a new partner. This is, this is mental. There was like hundreds of people in the street. Well, I think there was, there was a good consistent 50 to 75 people in a Call of Duty stream, which for me was like incredible. Um, and I got reported in that stream, got literally reported. So I was like, right, this person is not just going after me now for free fire. It's now Call of Duty. Um, stream after that, Facebook rejected my submission for partnership, said that I didn't meet their terms of services and that content on my page um, has come under question, basically, and it was being reviewed. Right, so I knew that, that, that I knew what was happening. Even though I still had the partnership thing on my page and that I'd hit every single um, returning viewers. So the returning viewers on my page at this point was, was 8,000, which is, is, is an it's a lot. awful lot of people, a lot. right? It's an awful lot of returning viewers, right? So you sit there and you think to yourself, right, I, I've potentially made this big time now. I've got a contract that I could have accepted. I've now a Facebook partner getting like, like 300 likes on a Call of Duty stream, like flipping things are crazy. Um, rarely is completely different to it. Um, and I, I'm going to talk about this because I know that James, like, I don't know if you want to talk about your experience, but when you're sitting there um, and this was in the free, I'm going to go back a little bit, right? So when you're sitting there with thousands of people watching you, for the world, you're doing good. Yeah. You're doing amazing. When you first start streaming, it's what you, what you, wish you could imagine and want um you know you, you've got contracts coming in you've got just a lot of support but which you think a lot of positive support and then behind that you've got the mental health side of it um which i know probably a lot of people don't want to talk about but it plays a massive massive toll on your mental health when you have thousands of people messaging you You've got thousands of people sitting there. You feel under pressure to perform not only in the game, but as a streamer to commit to the giveaways, to look at, make sure that you're presenting yourself in a, in a positive light, make sure that, and then to everyone, it's looking fantastic, but you're sitting there knowing what's happening behind the scenes. Do you know what I mean? You're sitting there watching, you know, you're like, like the reports coming in and things like that. Um, it does play a massive toll on your mental health. And um, it does massively. Yeah. It, it, I can only. Uh, I, I hope I'm, your guys. I was is, saying to I was saying to Dave early, like earlier on today, um, I was just showing him how to set something up, and um, I was saying to him like, you know, sometimes I could sit here with twenty people, and I start having a bit of an anxiety attack, you mm. know, or like a panic attack because I'm not used to it, and like as much as people say. I want to have, you know, a hundred people watching me. When you've got a hundred people watching you, you won't be you anymore. Yeah. You, you, you can't be the normal you because you'll be too worried about, you need to overperform. You need to, you need to do this. You need to do that. And you're saying it to yourself, you know, and that's why you hear the likes of, you know, stone mountain and all all these other streamers are like, just hide the number. It's like, yeah, you say just hide the number. Now I can kind of understand why, because you know yeah. they probably feel that pressure. They probably feel the mental health strain because I don't know if you know Pointy, but last Wednesday, not not just gone, but the week before, you know, I started a stream at six o'clock, and at half seven I had to literally come off. Like I was so depressed, hmm. and it's because I'm sitting there. And I'm looking at the numbers. Yeah. I'm looking at how, like, you know, nothing's going well. Like, nothing's growing. No, and I was just like, <laughs> and like this, and, and I was playing Call of Duty Warzone, and I was getting killed, and I was getting killed, and I was getting, and I started the stream so happy because I had such a great day, and I started yeah, yeah. so happy, and I was just like, you know what? And I, I, I got off of that stream. I went to the shop and bought a bottle of whiskey. I got absolutely shit faced. Felt sorry for myself on Thursday. 
did the same thing on Friday. I felt sorry for myself on Saturday. I think I might have played a pool, pool on Saturday for like an hour or two. I can't remember. I didn't really care, to be honest. Because I was just like, I just need this blowout. And I knew that it wasn't just going to be a one or two day. I knew it was going to be a three or four day kind of blowout. And then on Sunday, I did the same. I went and got absolutely shit face. Monday morning came around and I was just like, right, grand. I need to sort my life out. Mm-hmm. Because the mental health side of it, I was like, I need to start eating better. I need to start sleeping better. Like I wasn't sleeping like at all. You know, sitting there wide awake, like trying to sleep, like closing your eyes, but you 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 know you're awake, you know, like, and it's like, why is that? It's because you're not doing enough, you're not like exercising enough. And like, this is what I was saying to myself. I was like, I'm not exercising enough, I'm not eating right. I was eating shit, I was eating crap at stupid times. And it was it's lockdown. That's kind of you know, it was like the done thing. But the mental health from a week and two days ago, where I from where I was after a week of just kind of having a, a bit of a break. I've still been streaming, but very small streams and just trying to enjoy it. Having a break, focusing on the mental health, focusing on getting that set up and getting that right. I've been great. Since Tuesday, I've been great. Like I went for a jog on Tuesday, jog on Wednesday, had a day off on Thursday, went again today. I'm doing workouts and all of that. It's, you know, all the serotonin and all that and all the endorphins or whatever that it's releasing in the body. I feel great. Yeah. Genuinely. And I, I have, I've not felt like this since before the lockdown first happened back in February when I just finished my uh, 16K run. Which was like a ten mile race thing, and I finished it, and I was just like, I've just ran ten miles. It's like I never thought that would ever be possible in my lifetime, and that was that was as good as I felt then, is as good as I feel nowadays. Like since I've started getting back on track with life, because you sit there, you turn the stream on, you see ten people watching, you're happy, you know all them ten people, yeah. You know them. You know who they are. Like right now, I've got people that have been following me from the from day one. People were eight hundred days followed on my page. You know, coming in, and I'm looking, going, "Fucking hell!" Like I know your name. I've had chats with you. I I feel like if I met you in person, I could be like, "I oh, remember this." Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But like, it's when when you play a game, and now your stream starts blowing up, and you're looking at all these names, like, "All right, mate, who are you?" You know, <laughs> it's it's yeah. nearly like a stranger just walked in and you're a bit like, who's this lad? You know what I mean? I think with streaming, it's very hard not to... It's hard not to not to focus on the numbers sometimes because it it goes down to how you gauge whether your stream is being successful or not and you know you know and like i imagine if dave turns and looks and there's four thousand people watching him he's like oh shit this is like a really good stream you know so it's like you kind of your brain kind of latches on to what it thinks is like the correct information and it goes back to what dave was saying about the followers is just a number you know it's like but the thing is as a streamer it's like you get you kind of get addicted to the numbers do you know what I mean? You get yeah, it's like you get you you see you see the followers and you're like, you know, if I can keep this up, then in in su- such amount of time I can achieve this. And it's like then when that starts to go off plan and then you kind of start to doubt yourself and stuff and it's like, you know, I've been there mate. There there've been streams where I'm like, you know, I have I have I still I have streams now where I don't gain a single follower in a stream. But the difference now... I have them every day. <laughs> the difference now... The difference now... To the difference back then was... Back then I was like, you know, if I can gain one follower a day, like, it's progress, you know what I mean? And it, and it, and it is, it is. But I don't... I don't... Um, I don't take it so hard now if I don't. You know, like, yeah. if, if, if it doesn't happen you know then it it doesn't it doesn't happen for me it's i just try i try and i try and have fun and that and that goes back to what i was saying about people struggling to be like variety streamers on facebook um 
I try now, my thing at the moment is very much like, it's not that I don't care, but I just don't, I don't, I don't have it constantly. I'm not constantly worried about the numbers or the interactions or the comments, or whatever, because like the way I was thinking about it was like, I've been playing games my whole life with no one watching. Do you know what I mean? Regardless, I'm still going to be sat in this chair at this computer playing the same games, whether people are watching or not. So, you know, yeah. I turn the stream on and stuff and it's like, if people don't show up in my head, I'm like, well, if they don't show up, they don't show up. Like I'm still here having a good time. And the way I've always thought about it now is like, if people stop by and see you having a good time, it's like they, they tend to stay. You know, it's like people like want to kind of share in like the moment you're having. And, you know, it's there's so many different factors. And I've said this to James before, but it's like it's such an easy misconception to think streaming is just like turning your camera on and just playing mm -hmm. like how how you if you play a game off stream, it's like, you know, if I if I play I'm, off stream, I'm silent. yeah, I just sit here in I'm silence. Really, you know, no one, no one I, sits I, there. I'm silent. Yeah. But you know, you know what, what I still do? What? You know what I still do? This. You still left? Every two seconds. Every two <laughs> yeah. seconds. Every two seconds. Because it's nearly like, it's nearly like a done thing. So like, you're going into the pre-lobby and I'm like this. Because I'll have my chat still where it should be. Mm. You know, I won't be live, but it's still where it should be. Yeah. And I'm just looking at it and looking at all the old comments. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and I'm just, but like, I could, someone could be trying to talk to me and I've like got my mic muted and I'm just like, I, I, like, I, I nearly just want to just go off like fun, but it's so hard to have fun in certain games. I think yeah. it's so hard to have fun in certain games. Can um, I be honest with you as well? Like just, just while we're talking about this is um, some streamers get to the point where when they first start streaming, they're very much you know, quite, um, so I'm going to use this as an example, just because we know who he, I'm sure you guys know Nitro Luke, right? So I've spoke to Luke. He is genuinely a really, really nice person. His perception on stream, though, is very confrontate. Con you say it? confrontational. Yeah. Not a lot of people yeah. know that. I know that as well, Dave, because I've got his phone number and I've spoke to him about when I was first getting a PC and everything, and I know exactly mm. what you mean. He's a completely different person, and that's because I think he looks at it as it's entertainment at the mm. end of the day. Yeah. Entertainment. But, but then his, his, his look, the way that he's perceived, is negative. So I think... If he, can, if if you as a streamer can can separate yourself, I mean, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure Hitman Gaming is not going around talking about his 19 inch carpet grazer to <laughs> the old lady down the street, right? Yeah. So he, um, if you can, if you can, if you can separate your or differentiate yourself from the streamer to the person that you actually are, and you're not really worried about what people think to you, then I think that's completely fine. But if you're a a person that kind of like looks at themselves like I, I personally do, you know, I, I do care what people think of me because I don't want to be seen as that bad person, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So um when you're streaming, I think people like Luke who can potentially control um control to a certain extent that separation between him as Nitro Luke DX and then Luke Luke, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um I think I think that's where it is and i think sometimes you could come across I, i'm personally um i don't know if you guys have done this before um but i have and i and, and i had a really good talk with someone that i've met through streaming and they said dave you become a bit cocky when you had a lot of people watching you and i i actually sat there and was like you know what you're right you're right my attitude changed when i was streaming to a lot of people and i think that's because there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes but when you've got like thousands of people watching you, right? You're not worried about what that one person says. So you're not worried if you upset their feelings or, you know, how you come across to that one person, but then you forget you've got thousands of people watching you. Do you, do you know what I mean? And yeah. then that, that takes a massive, like, hole, um, especially when, when someone that you're close to is saying like you become cocky. Do you know what I mean? Um, but then if, if you can handle that, and people are finding enjoyment out of that cockiness, then you, you kind of look at it as a way of still being entertaining. Yeah. 
it, to an extent. I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't yeah, know I know, I know what you're saying. Like, I know what you're saying. It's like it's it's still you, but you're just you're more entertaining. It's like it's it's completely understandable. You're trying to come across more entertaining, but yeah. sometimes it comes across as cockiness yeah. or or uh, you know rude. I mean, there. Were, so I'm going to be honest. There was a lady called Carol that came into my stream, and I'm quite good at not swearing in a stream. I try not to swear. I try to keep it PG, which is another thing that is like a marketing thing. Um, but we won't get into that. Um, I tried to keep it PG. <laughs> I basically slipped up in a stream and dropped like the F form maybe three times and she picked up on it and she went and I laid it into her on stream with over a thousand people watching. And since that day, I want to see this Carol again. She probably will never show up in my stream again, but I want to apologize to that. I, I think that's just because of the person that I am. At, I am mm. right. Most people wouldn't care. Most people would be just like, you know what? Do one Carol sort of thing. Yeah. Like, but it, it, it has a really, really What's that song. What's that song? It's like, Oh, Carol, I am just a fool. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly. But, I don't know why it sticks in my brain so much because it's, it generally yeah. has affected it, it. Like I think you must have you must have gone in on her if it really if it's affected you that you want to apologise as well. You it's just really... a moment you regret, I guess. I, I, yeah, something that you I, actually regret. Yeah, it was literally. I said, like, well, can I? Are you all right with swearing in here? Like, I'll... once it's not the C U N T or the no, N M I word. No, no, no. So it's literally. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. That's literally how it come out in the game, right? I did bad in the game. Most people wouldn't see that as a bad thing. She... Mate, I she, say, I say yeah, the yeah. fuck about fucking 10 times a day. I've, I've, had, it, I've had it in my stream. I, I try not to swear in my stream, but it doesn't bother me so much. Do you know what I mean? Like, no. I, I, the thing, I swear so much as a person, like, it's just a part of me. Some, you, I'm the sort of person where someone will go, sorry, can you please not swear? And I'm like, oh, shit, sorry. Like, that's kind of how I am. And it's just mm. built into my brain. I, and I find it hard not to, but I've had people someone in my... Someone tells me not to swear, I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> I've had it in my stream. I've had it in my stream before <laughs> where... Um, I, a guy, I can't remember what his name was, and he said to me, he was like, uh, you know, he's like, I can't stay um, because uh, you've started swearing a lot more. And I'm like, all right, yeah, fine. Like, you know, what are you telling me for? Like, it ain't a fucking airport. You don't need to announce your departure. Like, if you want to leave, just leave sort of thing. So, like, <laughs> but the thing is, like, I'm I'm nice to everyone. Do you know what I mean? But it's not like mm. I'm swearing at you. It's not like I'm launching a personal attack on you. But it's like the game's, yeah, like, done something. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And it's just one of those moments, mate. And it's like, you know, if you have to leave, you know, if the swearing offends you, that's fine. Like, it doesn't bother me. But do you know what I mean? Something I've never thought of before, um, only recently seeing a couple of videos. Um, I was like, I can understand why the whole swearing is a, is a bit of a thing. Because if you find, say, for example, Dave starts watching my stream. I'm not swearing at all. And... Um, he's got his kids with him, but he's watching the stream mm. and the stream's on. Yeah. Next thing I start going, fucking little, fucking, 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 fuck, yeah. And, he, and he's like, <laughs> you know, he's like, and he's got to try and catch it. Yeah, yeah. So the kids don't start hearing it because at the end of the day, we don't know what's on the other side of the screen. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen a video. I think the video that hit me was the uh, average dad video and he was wishing um, someone's little daughter a happy birthday and he was like oh happy birthday have a great birthday saying the name of the child blah blah now he does swear but i was just saying that's what kind of made me think shit yeah you never really think like there's probably a kid there as well you know like dads or moms watching and they've got the kid or and i never thought of that and i, I swear a lot i do i say i say a lot of bad shit on my stream like one of my things is that i call people adopted i've got nothing against people that are adopted but like, it's just something that came out one day. It was funny. Now it's a sticker. But it's like, it's not anything personal against anybody. You know what I mean? That goes back to sort of the more entertaining side. People people yeah. sometimes like to see a little bit of rage. Not like yeah. full on. Well, I mean, some people are even into that. But, 
you know it's just it is it's a little bit of a thing like if i get killed in call of duty and i just sit here like i'm like oh well you know good game but if i'm here like you fuck and i start going off on one and like people get enjoyment from it rather than me just sitting here saying nothing do you know what i mean it's 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 just it's one of those things mate it's just it's definitely one of those things so yeah you know i used to i, I used to be a network manager on youtube and you had basically a a, a list of people that you could recruit into the network um this was quite a big thing by the way this is like massive um um their criteria was basically if if you could imagine there's a hundred balls in a in a ball pit and each one of them is like like you've got swearing racism like um negative input um raging you've got all of these different things and they're all categories basically you want to keep as many of them balls in the pit. So if you upset one of them and that leaves, then you've lost that ball, right? This is this is how it was explained to us. Right? So when it comes to swearing, this is where, and, and streaming, if you can imagine that's an audience group. Right? So there's an audience group that doesn't like swearing. There's an audience group where no one likes racism, but let's just say racism group. You want to keep in as many of them groups to all broaden your audience as possible. Um, so this is how it's always been explained to me is you want to, you don't want to offend people. You don't want to be rude. You don't like, I understand the entertainment thing. And I think there has to be a fine line between entertainment and being offensive. Right. And um, it's how you're perceived, but also trying to keep in with as many of them group like let's let's be for let's let's be frank here a lot of people that were playing free fire were young kids so if their mum or dad or whoever was to see that kid playing the game you're not going to want to hear them going off on one raging like mad swearing like mad but if you was to go into say um hitman stream as an as an older person right you might expect that if you know what i mean so i do think you've got to, you've you've got to gauge it um quite well there's no point in me effing and blinding in a free fire stream because the chances are i'm going to lose a massive audience or you know that are in that ball in that circle in that that bubble, yeah. i think facebook as well facebook is yeah. very much seen as the um family friendly streaming platform compared to yeah. all the all the other ones so i mean you say that you say that alex but i think you look at if you look at twitch Twitch, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Twitch is um, Twitch is kind of the the more kid friendly. Like you know, all the kids would kind of know Twitch. You ask you ask any nineteen year old nowadays. Have you got Facebook? They're like, no. I ain't got Facebook. In I've got Instagram and uh, Snapchat. That's all that they have. Oh. Genuinely, like. It's so difficult. Like nowadays, Facebook is is nearly like a website more than a social media platform. It's not me trying to put it down. Right? It's not me trying to put it down. It's simply me saying, like, when I played uh, Rust, um, going back to that, there was a guy, uh, I can't remember his name now, but he, he was 16 or 17, and he's the one that actually told me, he was like, dude, like, nearly everyone i know doesn't have facebook and he was in that age age group and i was like so where do you watch streams and so he's like oh we all watch on twitch and it's like because twitch is still so well known for streams so it's like it's a different audience it's a different audience twitch is that you know i think you're talking what maybe i'd go as young as 13 13 to probably 20 i'd say and then anything over that nearly is all facebook bound yeah what what i mean i don't i'm not on about the stream well i'm not so much on about the people watching but like you know when you accept the invite to the level up program and they ask you if you've read through all of their stuff you know it's like pages isn't it i don't know if you guys have ever because a lot of people just yeah. you know scroll you know you know when it comes up like oh by the way read this before you do whatever and a lot of people go a lot of people with their mouse <laughs> wheel are like whoa, 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 except like if you actually look at facebook policies like they have whole sections on swearing 
you know, like whole sections of not that you can't swear, but things like if you read it's it's a real sort of gray area, I feel. But Twitch doesn't have that. Twitch doesn't have like, oh by the way, we prefer if you don't swear. But on Facebook it's like I remember reading things and it's like you cannot refer to people as like genitalia and stuff like that. So it's like you can't just you can't go and call someone like a dickhead. Do you know what I mean? It's like they've actually got it written in their thing. But the way they've worded it is like you can't launch an attack on someone by referring to them as genitalia. So I cut on the stream if like if someone says something I don't like, I'm like, listen mate, you're fucking you and I start going off on him, then it's different. But on Twitch they don't have that. So Facebook right. Maybe what I should have said is Facebook is very much leaning towards they want to be the family friendly platform because is, other is platforms Hitman don't have that. that. Is Hitman? Is Hitman? Is he partner? No. no. He had a whole he had a just... whole thing about it where he wanted to be partnered, um, and I remember seeing it on his page. He was going on about it for ages, and people keep people keep saying it, you know, like hashtag Hitman for partner and stuff. And in my opinion, and that's all it is. It's all it is is my opinion. In my opinion. Uh, Hitman is the most entertaining streamer on Facebook. I was gonna say, like that's that, like how you say that's your opinion. Now, I'll be honest, I've never really watched him that much. And no. Every time I do, I, I just I feel like ten minutes, and I have to just. He's it's, it's it... like someone. Someone messaged in my chat here uh, in regards to Hitman. He says, "Well, as for the whole Hitman thing, uh, he is a Marmite character. Yeah, but I'm one of those that don't like him." Uh, I'm not that. Uh, it's not that I don't like him as a person because I don't know him. My point is, it is over the over the board swearing for me. It's just not on. It shouldn't happen. But now, I swear a lot in my stream. But he sits and watches my stream, and mm. he's probably one of my biggest contributors in regards to stars and support and everything like that. Yeah. So it's it's not just the swearing. It's simply it is type like how he says the Marmite character. You yeah. know, some people. Some people love him, some people hate him. Same with me. Some people love me, some people hate me. You can't please you know? everyone, mate. You can't. You know? And I think someone someone said it in a TED Talks once, and it was, you've got to be polar. As in, you've got to, you, you can't just be, I want everyone to like me. You've got to be, you know, some people are going to like you, some people are going to hate you. That's life. Deal with it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I think if you if you go around trying to make everyone like you, trying to be the, you know, oh, I need to be perfect for everyone, it's not going to happen. It's just genuinely not going to happen. So I think like you've got to find that niche. But then you, you, you it... sorry, you, go on. Oh, sorry. You've you've got to understand um, why isn't why isn't he partnered? Like you've got to look at it from this point of view. Do sponsors really want to reach out? I mean, if you want to go down the route, I mean, let's let's not be around the bush. Hitman is making a killing, right? Off off the stars, the donations he gets, the subs, like everything, right? He's earning a killing. He's not probably worried about sponsors, and he's not worried about that. But I couldn't see a sponsor like Sneak approaching someone like Hitman. I can't see, even though Facebook are probably loving the amount of money that they're earning off the stars and stuff like that. I can't see them wanting to be associated with someone that's talking about, you know banging everyone and flipping you know dragging his 19 inch all right i, I just i'm just gonna put a sort a spanner in the mix nitro always goes on about banging your mum. he does yeah he does and he's partnered would... he makes a killing he's partnered everything like that he talks about his penis on stream it's very set now he's probably probably not the same as hitman yeah now, like every time i go into hitman's thing it's about you know he's got this 19 inch fucking massive dick and all this but like it, it is just like it, obviously we we never know he could you know but it's more the entertainment purposes that he's saying yeah. it all and everything like that. But like when we're saying this about not being partnered because of the swearing and stuff like that and talking in these derogatory terms, Nitro Luke is partnered, makes a kill in. He's highly pushed by Facebook, probably one of the biggest streamers that is. Same as Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain, I don't think swears that much, but. He doesn't Nitro, swear at all. Nitro. On his streams, they don't they don't swear at all. No, but yeah, there's a re that there is a reason for it. like it's, it comes back to that ball pit like mentality again. Like you want to keep as many of them balls in that ball pit to hit to reach as many people as possible. Um, and I understand what you're saying about not trying to please everyone, <clears throat> but if you can stay within them circles still, 
you're going to reach more people and then the more people you reach obviously um more growth you're gonna have but also do you mind if i just go back you know when you was talking about twitch james um, yeah and you were saying about twitch i think one of the biggest things is if, if you're looking for an actual stream you go to platforms like twitch because you're you're specifically looking for them i think the thing is with facebook is because you've got all your friends on there and your friend shares it and they appear on other people's timeline as you're scrolling you might come across that stream whether you're interested in it or not or not you might not even care about gaming you come across it that person will scroll through now whether that what is it 10 or 12 second view does that actually count as a view or is it it used to it doesn't anymore it doesn't they actually so, have to click into your stream it used to be a three second that's what it was it used i was gonna to be say three i thought seconds. it was if someone three. if someone on your if the, if they just scrolled past your video and it was there for three seconds that was one view on your video because yeah. there was an old trick that a lot of streamers use i hold my hands up i used it um you just you could share your own stream to as many uh pages as you wanted and obviously for like anyone that was in that page if they seen it that's a three second view i've had videos in the past because of doing this uh hack let's call it um where i've got like maybe thirty thousand views on a video like on a live stream because i've gone in i've shared it to all these pages that i know there's people in that are going to end up seeing it at some stage and it's got views mm. but it, 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 i think doing that the only person you're lying to is yourself yeah, <laughs> the end and of i the think day. it is false false hope in, in yeah. one aspect yeah, because yeah. That's it, yeah. if you if you're going to twitch you, you know you're going to watch a streamer yeah if you're going down your timeline you're just coming across it and whether you're interested or not you're seeing it and and yeah. you know so and did you know that everybody's facebook page is different i know that every facebook page is a unique id no i just mean as in like um so what you see on your scroll is going to be completely different to what I would see on my scroll, completely different to what Alex would see on his scroll, because it all goes on previous likes, what you've liked in the past, what you've spent time watching, what's captivated oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, That's like your personalized sort of, algorithm sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what sort of rabbit hole you've gone down in the past. You know, like, and when I say rabbit hole, what I'm talking here is, you know, when you watch a video and then you've clicked into that, what well, I've done it many a times, I'm like, right, I'm just going to go to the bathroom, sit on the bed for a second, watch this video. Oh, it seems interesting. It auto scrolls to the next one. You're watching that one. Next thing, you, you've started watching a video about, um, you know, how to grow a fuller beard and now you're watching how to grow cheekbones. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like, it's just like, where's this gone? And it's just... Sorry, go on. No, it's, it's it's product placement, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's like I own a loft ladder company. I don't want to. Sell, I don't really care about other businesses selling loft ladders or anything like that. But I see it on my timeline all the time about yeah, yeah. Michael Hayes. I don't. I don't care. But it's literally what what you're saying, James. It's like if if um I th I think now they've become since the GDPR thing with a lot of businesses, um you actually ha physically have to agree um that you want to see products that you're searching for if that makes sense i'm pretty sure that's a thing with google yeah. now but you have to yeah. actually select it um but yeah product i'm just calling it product placement because that's that's the only thing that i could actually imagine what it refers to like you're interested in a set group of things so they're going to more push that product onto you so you yeah keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it oh now he's bought it right let's swap it what's he looking at now facebook yeah. facebook is like very clever when it comes to these sort of things there was a um was it on netflix there was like a documentary and they spoke to people that used to work for like facebook and google and that sort of thing and they were basically yeah. they were basically explaining like if you think about it every business has to like sell something like a service a product or whatever and we don't pay for Facebook. Do you know what I mean? People don't pay for Facebook. And it was like, so, and it was, and this person that used to work at Facebook was like, let me put this idea to you, is like, you are the product. They're selling you. Do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, yeah, what yeah. they're selling, what, what they're selling. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. And it's like, they're selling you 
on your on your phone or whatever yeah. so it's like companies pay them for advertising so what facebook would, and they were explaining about how facebook works was like they'll be like if you imagine every group and every page you've ever liked on facebook doesn't come up in your feeds do you know what i mean like james was saying like you know pages i've liked from like and 10 years ago no longer come up in my feed right and it's they were basically explaining the reason behind that is like you know the facebook algorithm will work out what you interact with on your page and what you won't and it will change it like every day it will change it uh and so what it will do is every now and then it will just throw something random out there like you know if you don't interact with your phone because what they're selling is your screen time to the people that pay them for advertising so you are the product right and i what remember what, i remember this yeah. guy actually saying and everything what they'll do what they'll do every now and then is they'll just if if like and the longer you go without looking at your phone and looking at facebook the more intense they'll try and make it to make you load it up so what he was saying was something like you know if someone hasn't been looking at facebook and it's been like days and you know if they're if they're usually on it every day and it's been like days what they will do is they will throw them a notification that they would never throw them in an attempt to get them back and but they'll try and make it personal they'll try and make it something as uh so and so has just changed their relationship status but it'll be like one of your ex-girlfriends or something like that like they will throw something out there that's completely wild that would they wouldn't tell you about unless they were trying to bring you back and it's just mad how how they do and these it, things and, and, and he know? goes on to say he goes on to say like and then if that doesn't catch you they're like right what's the next thing we can do yeah but then and it's then like, like in amongst oh, you in amongst you yeah. doing that trying to work <laughs> yeah. out who your ex partner is now in a relationship with it will throw you an ad for something like anything <laughs> and then and then facebook get paid and it's like you know because they're selling you they're selling your screen time it's mad it's mad but should, should, I, should i tell you something that um uh, so I, I used to work for a uh, basically multi, multi, multi millionaire who made all of his money off of YouTube. And his name was George Venus. Uh, and if you look him up, you'll see he started up the network Freedom Networks. So Freedom Networks is basically um, someone that I got involved in um, with Freedom. And I was like the network manager for them. And this is everything that we used to talk about. So um, George would be in board meetings. Like, and you're talking about, you know, you're talking about extremely um, intelligent stuff, like in terms of how companies go to, um, so like, the best way I can put this is my business, I want to promote within a certain area. Um, what they do is they target that specific, they target that specific area with a budget. Now, um, the best example I can give to this on YouTube, you get a thing called a CPM, which is a click a thousand like views. I don't know if you know what a CPM is. Yeah. The CPM ranges. So a CPM is how much you're paid for the thousand people that have watched that video and it's going to be targeted. Now, let's say, for instance, Mercedes aren't going to want to pay, um, pay to put their product in a third world country when Mercedes is like, you know, you're talking thousands of pounds for a vehicle truck lorry whatever it is right so um they start targeting first world countries england america you know they want to get it out to as many people in england and america um so they start putting the higher cpms in places like england and america this is why you see companies like sneak you see all the com companies targeting places like england and, and america um because they want to get these bigger brands they want to get these more expensive brands to the right people and this goes back to what you're saying pointy with um you know getting it in front of the right people mm. like these companies you're not going to see mercedes want to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds promoting in a country where people i mean obviously there's, there's going to be people that can afford it but you, you you wouldn't expect in a third world country um for the mass market to be buying mercedes yeah i'm not trying to sound snobby here or anything like that but it's literally the same same concept you want to get your product in front of people that first thing you know potentially could afford it and once you've got within that area of people you want to start targeting more directly more specifically to the people that are maybe searching for mercedes or you know searching for the product so it's completely 
it, it's not as complicated as what it sounds. It, it's down to this product placement, like completely. Like, let's say, for instance, James makes a pair of jeans. He's not going to want to be showing up in someone's feed that's looking for a dress. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Or, yeah, yeah. So you want to get it as specific as possible so that you've got more chance of that person being interested in your product and wanting to buy that specific product, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I know what you're saying. That, uh, uh, that To some people, that might just be like common sense, right? just, just complete common sense. But I think we're not fooled into it. Oh we're no, not, not no, no! This. We all know, we all know, but it's just, but, it's, just, it's just one of those things. It's just how it is. It's, it's a business thing, and you've yeah. got to think. If you was a business, you, you want your product in the right place. In the right place. I mean, exactly. In the right place. Um, I'm just I just look- realised that we haven't really asked that many questions. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm, I'm looking now, and I'm we're, thinking, we've, I'm thinking, we've, we've we'll go, gone down a rabbit we, hole of our own here, lads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just looking. I'm looking now at some of the uh, some of the things to try and get this back on track. Although it has been good, it has been you know. I'll tell, tell you what, pointy, pointy. Yeah. Scroll down and uh, we'll do this part. We'll do this part. You want to you want to do that, do you? Yeah. I don't know. You I don't, start with. I don't you know if, start with I don't know if Dave's ready. Dave, are you ready? Oh, no. Quick yeah, fire questions. Quick we fire quick questions. So it's just it's just oh, like one ready? or the other. Yes hold on, or no. Hold on, hold on. Are you ready? Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> let's, right. let's do it. Are you so, ready? Yeah, just yeah, quick I'm fire. Ready. Yes or no. One or the other sort of thing. Um, right, okay. First one: pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? Yes. Good man. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Favorite food? Oh, steak. Ooh, okay. yes. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Always. Ketchup or mayo? Depends what it's on. Well, if you if you could only have one for the rest of your life. Uh mayo. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm with that. Yeah. Uh favorite colour. Uh black. Okay. That's How many sounds- pillars? How many pillows do you sleep with? Uh, two. Ooh, that's dodgy. I think I've got I've got three. I've got four. But no, I I've, got, sleep I've on got two. two but one, but I, <laughs> my got my like, top one is like is thick, and my other two are like you know really thin. Um, I've or got your legs. The what? I mean, Wait, I've what? A big one. I've got like a pregnancy ones. Oh, you're one of those I'll, big I'll, like. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. Um uh favorite film. Um oh jeez man. You know what? Um it's supposed to be quick, isn't it? Well, yeah. ish. Uh, Hold on. We'll James, Bond. Drum roll. <laughs> James Bond. Any specific one or just the whole series? Um Do you know what? I can't even think of the f- name. Like it's a uh, oh, is no, it, it's, it's, is it's it, the one where there's triple O seven in it. Um, it's one with the thing. It's, it's the one with triple O seven in it with 000. the with the train. With the train at the beginning is like the most craziest stunt scene you've ever seen in the world. Where triple, the plane goes off. Triple O seven. What the hell? You mean double O seven? No, 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 no. Hang about? on, no. No double O. Double O six. Is it double O six? Double O six. He's um. You're on about Goldeneye. No, it's the one with Piers Brosnan, man. Like, you've got to know this. Like, I don't even uh, know What do you this, mean? But... Uh, how, why have I got to know it? You're the one that said it. It's your favourite film. And you don't know what it is. It's like the best James... stunt scene. Like, James Bond, Piers Brosnan, um, like, train. Comes flying down. He jumps in this flying in this plane, takes off. Yeah, that's Goldeneye, mate. James Bond, Piers Brosnan... That's Goldeneye, right, well, that's, that's, where he right, hijacks the plane in the middle of the black market and drives it off and flies it up. Yeah, that's Goldeneye. No, we don't. There's no market. He's like literally dropping off a cliff, yeah, and he jumps off the motorbike. I was flying down. You won. In for the side yeah, door. Yeah, there's the not plane. much left though. Okay, so 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 uh, 
People in my chat, are, Goldfinger, Tomorrow Never Dies. I don't know which one it is. I'm not sure. Tomorrow Never Dies. That has got to be it, man. I, I love is that. Is it that film. one? All right, fine, right, fine. Tomorrow Never Dies. Bond investigates the sinking of a British warship in Chinese waters. Uh, then uh, the theft of one of the ship's cruise missile and uh, the shooting down oh. of a Chinese fighter plane. We'll be here for all day, he mate, un- reading the plot until he finds the plane he, that goes off the fucking cliff. He uncovers a link to media mogul Elliot Carver, oh, which uh, suggests oh. that Carver had purchased a GPS encoder on the black market. Okay. No, I mean, that's the, that's the Chinese word. agent, yeah, Wei Yeah, that's Lin, the one, James. That's the one, mate. Also- <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, it's a must. I'll make sure I to put it, it on the list. I'll make sure to put it on the list. Uh, so what's that? So James, we're on number eight. I've 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 just closed it by accident. <laughs> uh, I need that elevator music. <laughs> tell you what I do like as well. Shooter. Do you, do you know Mark Wahlberg? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like uh, I like war movies. I like Tom Hanks. What's the one with Tom Hanks? Um, Could be you know what I watched recently with Tom Hanks? Uh, oh. What's it called again? Uh, Castaway. I watched that, man. Well, we will soon. Yeah, man. I, like, honestly, that's a good movie. I was heartbroken at the end. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like he's, he's just gone through all that, and then he found out his wife's gonna marry someone else. Like, no. Uh, yeah, but she was gonna end up going back with him. But then, you know, it's all, it's all good. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, Cornwall. Okay. What's the longest Cornwall. amount of time? Anywhere in the world, Cornwall. He's a simple man. Cornwall. He's a simple man. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't. Love Cornwall, I wouldn't. Not mate, live in like the Bahamas or. Like, I wouldn't. Miami, I wouldn't live like... outside of the UK. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move outside of the UK. Hey, I'm a type one diabetic. I am not like. I get my. I get my. I get my insulin for free. Like I've seen them bills from flipping America. Yeah? I'm not living over there. <laughs> Like, don't, don't trip to the uh, hospital when they're coming out, taking out a mortgage. Do you know what I mean? Right. Mortgage. What is what is the longest amount of time you've gone without sleeping? Um, probably when I did that twenty-four hour stream because it was seven in the morning. I was up. Okay. So it'd be thirty-six hours. So it's a, a long time. What's your favourite number? Uh, fourteen. For Thierry Henry, and he okay. played for Arsenal. Last, <laughs> this is the last one. This is the last one. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Good, good. Oh, he said that was uh, like conviction, uh, there, didn't he? Yeah, he said, it was conviction. But when, like when, when fucking PlayStation, fucking. When Xbox had the exclusive rights to Call of Duty, it would, it would have been. Do you know when you used to, used to have to wait a flipping month for the DLC, man? That used to yeah. drive me insane. PS3 and the once PS4 came out it was all different. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm yeah. just looking at the other questions we got. Uh favorite game of all time. Anything Modern stand Warfare out? 2. Okay. Modern Warfare already, 2. Did we already do that? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. Um yeah, any games coming out that you're looking forward to in the near future? Uh quite like the look of Battlefield 3. But is it Battlefield Battle. 3? Battlefield 3? Fucking hang on, we've re-rounded right, it. It's right. 2006. Who's got the time machine here? Um... Hang on. I, I've, 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 I've never played, Battle, like, I've played Battlefield maybe once, right? And, and and I didn't enjoy it. But then the new trailer of it coming out where you can destroy campers in a battle. Is it Battle Royale? Like, someone was telling me about this. but So the fact that... Battlefield has always been like sort of destructible environment. Um, but the new one coming mm. out is Battlefield 6. Yeah. Right, Battlefield Six. I, I kind of, I like the look of it, but then I'm always, always like curious to what a trailer is to an actual game. Yeah, it's always uh, different. It's always yeah. different, mate. Always. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are looking forward to that because it's, you know, to be honest, it's really the only thing coming out that's a first that could rival. Shooter, yeah, that could rival Call of Duty. It's the only. Yeah. It's the only thing that I can think of. There are other big games out there, but it's always sort of. You know, Battlefield and Call of Duty, you know, it very much, you know, because there was that year, was it when Battlefield 1 came out? I can't remember when that was. Was that 2016 or something? Uh, yeah. When Battlefield yeah. 1 came out, just before Battlefield 1 came out, that year was like Black Ops 
three or something something came yeah. out and it absolutely flopped people fucking hated it no one wanted jetpacks or running at walls or any of that futuristic shit people wanted a shooter mate and battlefield one dominated that year like it absolutely smashed it and then the next thing you know the next year call of duty were obviously like right shit we've messed this up here people aren't they don't want futuristic stuff they want like the now do you know what i, I mean? enjoyed the futuristic stuff when it came out mm, though it i just, thought it i changed th- it up I thought it sucked, I, mate. I, was, I didn't. I was good. I was good. On I've all got that. nothing like, against it. Yeah, like that. I loved all of that, mate. I've got nothing against it, but it's not Call of Duty. Do you know what I mean? No, it, it reminded yeah. me of like Fast and Furious. You know, they've gone from hijacking cars now to fighting like World War Twelve. Like it's just it's it's, it's gone so it. ridiculous that it I was like into a new level didn't yeah, it yeah <laughs> and i was like i was like this isn't <laughs> call of duty mate yeah, this is like flying do you know what i mean it's like it's not call of duty it's like i'm watching robocop here like it was just something else something completely different but battlefield one smashed that year warzone that's why i think warzone is so popular yeah yeah and uh have any of you heard, right so there's a game out that not it's, it's being developed but you can play the game while it's still being developed so like it's really for me it's really really interesting um i'm gonna take shroud i'm gonna take yes oh, is it is it hell let loose yes it is hey and 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 is this like is this like i'm in the no listen be, i'm down with i'm down know, with the it? kids <laughs> i'm down with the kids um, but have you, have you played it? No, I've seen... I've, I, a guy I know streams it. A guy I know streams it on Facebook. Very realistic and it's fascinating. Like, I find it fascinating in the fact that you can play a game that's still being developed. So one day you're playing it, the next day, like, things change, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You're not talking about... So, sometimes you're not even talking about small changes. You're talking about pretty big changes, um, like positioning within the map, um, you know, a, a tree that was once there isn't there a, a truck that was once there isn't there the, the, the cover the points the angles are constantly changing so for me when i'm playing like i i haven't really played it too much i'm not gonna lie but um i find it interesting um and it's very uh strategic if you know what i mean um you you, you can't just go out as like a one-man army you've got to play with your team it's, it's the communication that people have in that game is insane. Like I've seen my friend play it, and it's like it's it's almost James. If you imagine, it's like um, it's like an old like an old school war game, but it's like have you ever played Escape from Tarkov? It's it's not it's not like that. It's it's almost like Battlefield One, but they've tried to increase how realistic it is. Like, it's like super, and, and when yeah. you when you make a game more realistic, it's it's very hard because, like, people want realism there, but not all of it. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, like you know, if you go full realistic and it's like you, you know, it it so it can take the fun out of it. But they've they have done it really well. The game looks good, and they've they've tried to. I'm pretty sure with that game, they've tried to keep it like historically accurate, like actual battles between actual groups like actual factions and like they've tried to make the map of how they um what footage they have of that what that place actually looked like at that point of time oh wait i think i might have seen someone playing this and they were doing like you know one of the 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 battles like it was like you know they're on one side they're on the other side and this guy's like you know what fuck it i'm gonna go over and talk to them (laughs) And he's like running across the I'm friendly, I'm friendly, don't you? <laughs> the, but mate, but some of them is like it takes you ten minutes just to get to the front line where the like fight's happening. It's like you're like I've seen I've seen this guy and like sometimes he spawned at the back and it takes him ten minutes to get to the front where the fucking fight's happening. And I'm thinking, you know what, that's super realistic, but at the same time, how many people want to walk ten minutes before they get into the uh, fight? Yeah, Do you know it, what I mean? It is it is um it is boring to an extent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is where I think Call of Duty have got it right with Warzone. I think the 150 players is 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 right. I know some people are talking about that they might be putting it out to 200, but I don't know where where we stand with that. Have you seen Have you seen the latest update? The whole thing with the zombies. I've seen it. Yeah. So you basically there's an area in the map now where if you die there you become a zombie and then you can go around the other map the the whole map as a zombie. But if you die, then you go to the gulag and you can come back as a regular person. Yeah. All right. It's so messed up. 
So this is where I think Call of Duty need to like I understand that they want to they want to keep the game interesting and, and fresh like that. But if you compare the updates that Fortnite do compared to Call of Duty, and you look at how consistent Fortnite are with their complete map changes and these different skyscrapers and you know the weird objects that they put in. If you don't like it from one season to the next, you haven't got to wait too long before they change it, and then it, it, you might like the next one. With Call of Duty, we've gone for so long now, yeah. um, and they've only I changed. Was, I was things. really, really pissed off when they never did anything in March. I literally, mm. I was like so excited. I was like, I had made thumbnails. I was like, what's going to happen? Is the map going to get blown up? Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, let's let's go live at five o'clock. Hopefully, something's happened and at six, and it was just like. Nothing's happening. And I was just like, oh, this is stupid. I was like, you know, how can you have a game that's been released for a full year and you've done the minorest, literally they've done like what? They open stadium, they put in the train system and they crashed a ship into the into the bottom. Like, come on, man. You've got to do something else. You've got to, you've got to make it. You've got to do more. They're probably going, we're doing loads. No, we'll do fucking more because, you know, it's not enough. And if I was their boss, I'd be like, fucking move, bitch. I'm sorry for swearing, but yeah. You do, know what I mean? Do you know, do you know what? The, like, you, like, you've hit the nail on the head as well. Like, can I, um, there's someone in my stream right now, right? That, that, um, I don't know if, if, if he's still here or not. But basically, as a, as a streamer, um, you have to question yourself as to why things might not be working. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, and the same process should come into like these games as well. Like, why is it that? I mean, a lot of people still play Warzone. I don't know how many pe people are playing Warzone, right? But surely they should be looking at it and think to themselves, right? Where potentially are we going wrong, and how can we keep this fun and entertaining? Because, I mean, what happens... I know they're going to incorporate stuff from Cold War into Warzone. Um, but it, it, I, I don't... I, on, I don't know. The, I, I, on the flip side, though, maybe they see maybe they see themselves as not having to do anything that the game's already great, because, like, let's not get it wrong, like, they've made billions off Warzone. Like, I'm pretty sure it's into the billions now. So maybe they see it as, well, you know, we're fucking making loads of money. People love it. Da, 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 da. And they, you know, these the people that develop it might not, they might not even play it all that much, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's like, they might just see yeah, the numbers and be like, you know what? Like, there's like, this is doing so well. Look at this and this and this and this. And it's like, they might just see it from a completely different side to what we do, you know? I bet they do. I bet they're like all focused on, oh, how do we put an anti cheat in it? Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're not. Like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just ban 30,000 accounts, but oh, hey, look, this guy's still going. He's still he's still cheating. Yeah, grand. Um, uh, Dave, talking on, talking on that in regards to streams and stuff like that, do you consider yourself a successful streamer? No. Why not? Or because I haven't done, even even um, before you answer that, what are you? What do you? What do you consider successful? What what are you? What would? You, what is your defining point of success? What are you basing that off? Um, the fact that you can, so it's changed dramatically, um, in what I define as a successful, not just one stream, but streamer basically if you're saying like am i a successful streamer um community to be honest with you i i literally know that um even though um there's people there that come into the stream and say dave how you doing like are you good and everything like that and i i absolutely love that side of it um i haven't i haven't been successful in myself that i know that i haven't built a community where alex i look at you, for example, right? and I look at the pointy peeps and I'm like, I'd love to have that. I mean, I'd love to have a, a community that I, I've built. But I think that's my failing. I think while I was gaining like thousands of followers a day and everything like this, that's when I should have been maybe pushing, not pushing, but maybe getting people interacting more within a group. Um, and, and I do think that's my 
failing because now um, people only get in contact with me if a they want diamonds in Free Fire, which kind of winds me up, or or if they've got a question that they want me to answer, or um. I mean, I get I get messages. Dave, do you want to play the game? Dave, do you want to do this? And it's it's nice. It, that is nice. Um, but when you look at how, how do I say this? Um, can I sit on the fence on this and say yes in some aspects, no in another? I think the community thing I've definitely failed at. Right? The I don't think people are interested in what I'm doing anymore or what I'm about. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I think I'm just like kind of. Well, that's Dave. He's doing his thing. I, I think there's there's not a great deal of interest. Um, <laughs> this is me just being completely honest. Sorry, I'm laughing as, at my chat. Sh- I wasn't laughing at what you were saying. That's all right. Um, I think as as, as terms of streaming you goes, you know, any streamer that starts off, they want to hit the level up program. Great. They want to get the support button. Great. They want to get partnership. I can uh, uh, even if I had it for like a couple of days, right? At least I can say I I I achieved partnership thing did i get a, am i sponsored am i am i a sponsored streamer yes i am am i doing well at it yes i am so in them aspects yeah great i've achieved what i wanted to achieve out of streaming am i happy with the route that i've gone gone down if i'd rather have sixty thousand followers that that all play call of duty you know and followed me into call of duty um it is what it is. Like, what do I do with my channel? I've, I've fought really hard to get my channel back without any reports and sorting it out. Um, I think with my channel, I'd be taking backward steps if I was to say I was going to start again because I tried it while I was getting this page sorted out. Um, and now I've just got to deal with the fact that I haven't built a community. Do you know what I mean? Right. Even though there's a lot of people potentially there. And that's just me being honest. And this is why over the last, I'd say, three to four weeks, um, maybe even, well, let's say six weeks, um, while my mental health is getting back on track, I'm back at work, things are going good, um, you know, and and um, I'm taking a backward seat from, from streaming a little bit. So um, just, just in regards to that, do you want to ask that question now real quick point? Yeah. Just with what you're saying there, Dave, it kind of just fits in. Because um, like, I, I don't think, I don't think you would clash yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, you might I just have to reword it. I don't sort of. Yeah, because I don't think that would even apply to Dave. Have you ever, have you ever taken or you know said to yourself that streaming would have been a full time thing? Yeah, when you when you've got thousands of so when you've got, I think we might have gone over this, did we? Where we said about the whole. Yeah, and then he said, you know, he doesn't like want that. to let his family down and stuff because of the business. We kind, we kind of touched. Yeah, on yeah, it. we kind of, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, yeah. But with that, with that, you have to look at how much I'm earning from the business, and then how much potential you've got in earning something different. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I was earning, let's say, ten grand a month off of streaming, my mum and dad would be like, jump on it, right? Yeah. And the business can run itself. I mean, literally, if if I was earning. But let's say, for instance, the contract went through, right? Potentially, I could pay someone to do what I was doing at the business and I could be streaming full time. Like, this, see what I'm saying? Like, look, there's ways around things, but yeah, things happen. Um, just looking at some of the questions we got left, not which isn't a lot. Um, we've got <laughs> one uh, How do your friends and family feel about you streaming? Um, so like do you do you, is it something everyone knows about is it something everyone you're close to knows about you streaming are they do they know cuz like for me you know like a lot of my family don't really understand it they don't really understand like what the point of streaming is they're like so hang on so people watch you play games and I'm like oh, yeah kind of but there's more to it like do people get it are they supportive do they you know how how is that um so i think with with streaming any streaming if you're a low streamer People don't understand it. If you've got thousands of people um, backing you, kind of thing, which they look at as, as support, uh, like a follower supporting you, I think people are more understandable of it and accepting mm. of it. Um, I think that's just the way the way it is. Um, uh, um, now, when it comes to my family, they've always been 
like to be honest with you, a hundred percent supportive. And also, can I just say that like I don't want to bore you guys, right? But gaming for me has been more than just gaming. Um, I went through hundred easy. I had a car crash back in 2009. I've got five slip discs in my back. I couldn't walk. I had to learn how to walk again. And gaming for me was massive, like massive, massive. Um, so I think my family are, are more understanding of it in the fact that that they know the problems that I've gone through. And playing games was like not a healing process, but when you literally can't do anything and you're just sitting there, um, People are more. They're okay. They're okay with it. If you know what I mean. Yeah. They're okay with it because I because I spent like years, you know, like a, a couple of a good a good couple of years of my life um, doing gaming and building. That's why I was living with my mum and dad, my dad sort of thing. So yeah, my family have been fantastic. My wife, like honestly, um, this is something massive. Um, my wife is extremely extremely supportive of the things that i do um and stream is one of it but it takes up a lot of time um and sometimes i feel not guilty but bad if i spend too long streaming that makes sense yeah uh, yeah it's yeah like, even I've, tonight i've i was just gonna say i've done mate the there have been times for me and zoe where I've almost felt I feel bad because I feel like at times I've neglected it to mm. to to me uh, yeah to James <laughs> it's when he puts the glasses on I can't resist him um the the thing is like in my head I'm so work focused like and it's like for streaming it's like for the first and I've said this so many times on stream and I love saying it but it's like when it comes to streaming, for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm actually doing something with my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've had jobs, and like, you know, and like, I'm, you know, my job's pretty good, and like, I get paid enough to like cover the mortgage and the bills and to treat myself to things, and that's enough for me. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not greedy, so that's great. Like, I would say I'm fairly successful <laughs> in like my career, but for the first time, I'm doing something where i actually like I, I sat back and thought about it the other day and i thought fucking hell you know what like i'm coming up on 30 and what have i done in my life like honestly and i thought and i sat there and i think about a few moments and i thought 30 fucking years and what have i done what have i got to show for 30 years and now it's like i'm doing something and i've built something from nothing and i'm and i'm working on it like every day trying to do things with it and there have been times and zoe's like super supportive and it works out great because zoe's really into gaming so i can speak to her about things and like show her things that i think would be like good content and stuff like that but there have been times where i felt just like a right dickhead because i'm like you know what i need to like i need to spend more time with it i need to like show her more attention but i'm just so in the moment of i'm trying to do what i've got to do um so there have been there have been times where i've literally had to say like streaming has got to just go on hold for a second yeah. because my real life has got to come first. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I hundred percent get that. Yeah. Just in, in regards to what we're saying there about girlfriends and this, that, and the other, <laughs> another streamer in my chat just put my wife makes me stream because she thinks I'm annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's brilliant. <laughs> I have known. Um, so it's a streamer. This is this is no word of a lie. And actually, James, you'll know who I'm talking about here. And like you don't even know this. Uh, um, the streamer that I'm talking about, um their marriage collapsed because of streaming. Like I know I know people that yeah, yeah, I know people I I remember speaking to someone and I'm not gonna say who it is, uh, but on Twitch and he has got you know, he's Twitch partnered, he's like you know he makes enough from streaming to live a very good life and he he and i literally i spoke to him he was like streaming cost me everything he was mm -hmm. like i'm a successful yeah. streamer and like i'm a good streamer and i've got everything i ever wanted but it cost me everything mm -hmm. and it's just it's mad mate it's mad it's it's because you can't sometimes you just lose track sometimes it's like when you're just like it's like tunnel vision you're so focused on getting to the ends that you just can't see what's going on around you you know yeah it eats you alive. Yeah, it does. That's why I think, I think I, I kind of taught myself a hard lesson very recently in the last week. 
And, you know, that is the fact that I literally, I don't stream as much anymore. Right. And I, I just, I had to, I had to walk away. But like, I haven't, I can tell you now, I've noticed it. I've noticed the difference from not being as, as regular on the platform. And now when I say I'm not being as regular, you know, I've still streamed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this week, but I used to do a 10 a.m. stream till two and then a six till nine. And then every day was the same, you know? Um, but like, I'd be getting probably 10 people each stream, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, every, like, as in like consecutive viewers. Mm. Yesterday stream, it was like, I think I had like three viewers at one stage to two viewers to one. And then today's stream, it was just like, it popped up to nine. Hi, 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 hi. And then it just drops to three. And I was like, you can really see, you can really see where like you need to put everything you have because otherwise it's just not going to blow up. It's not going to get bigger. So it's, it's, I think that if you do want to pursue it as a career properly, you've got to be willing or you've got to have partners that are willing to say, see you in a month's time. See you in, like, see you when I see you. You know, I'll see you in bed, hopefully. You know what I mean? Mm. I think this is where the lockdown helped a lot of people. And it definitely helped me in the fact that I had a, not an excuse, but because I still did, I've, basically did an MVQ throughout that whole fry, um, that whole flipping free fire thing. You know, I think the, the, the COVID situation gave a lot of people the time potentially, you know, that even the time you're traveling back and from work and stuff like that, that could be another half an hour that you could be streaming. Yeah. I feel like a lot of streamers started in the COVID period, you know, through the furlough. I, re now, I restarted in COVID. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I, made I, had quit streaming. I had quit completely. And then I restarted when COVID hit. The... I remember you doing your drinking thing, weren't you? You, you, did, yeah. uh, you did the live streams in the bar, didn't you? I remember them. Yeah. yeah. Remember them. Um, but yeah, no, I completely, I completely quit streaming. And I was just like, I'm done with streaming. And um, <coughs> COVID hit. And I ain't going to sit here and uh, sugarcoat it. I, I was like, you know... I need to potentially make some income, you know, because I've got bills to pay. I've got things I need to pay for. And I was like, what do I have or what can I, what can I do to make money? And I said, oh, I've got a PC there. Oh, I can sell my PC. That will give me a grand. That will pay my rent because at first it was a two-week lockdown. So I was going to put my PC up for sale. I was going to put everything I had up for sale and just get a bit of cash. And then I was like, maybe if I just do what I did originally, utilize this to potentially make some growth uh, with money. So I put my head down and, you know, little by little, it's it's um, built up to what it's built up now. And I'm making enough to survive monthly off of off of just off of streaming. You know, what the best thing that's happened to me through streaming is um, so I'm not going to lie. Um, when you go through something quite traumatic in your life, you start to realize who your true friends are. And then once you start realizing that you actually haven't, so I haven't got a lot of friends outside of, of streaming and things like that. Um, but the best thing that's happened to me through streaming is, is genuinely meeting people and talk, having people to talk to like, um, like Bex, uh, she comes into my stream. Um, me and Bex become good friends. I've made a lot of good friends. That is, 100% the best thing that has happened throughout the whole of streaming is is, is a, a genuine friendship with a common in, interest. Mm. I so, think... Uh, oh, go on, go on. No, I was, I was going to say, do you find yourself successful? Um, no. Yes. But I, same thing. I'm just basing it off of. I'm base. I base it off of community. I said to James before that I feel like building a community is like building a wall, and it's just my first. My first brick of that wall was like my first consistent viewer, and I built such a relationship with him, and he's in the chat now. 
Um, and I call, I call him Day One Lloyd because it seems like he's been here forever. And he was like that first brick and we built like a proper relationship. This is like someone I've never met, but I know. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like every stream, every stream for ages, was, it was only ever one viewer. It was just me and him. But me and him would talk like every stream, every day during lockdown. I was stream, you know, I stream like all the time. And he would always come back. He would always come back. And he was like number one. And then it's like someone else would come in and join in on the conversation. And that was the second person. And like I would take time out to get to know that person and get to know, you know, and I would remember conversations we've had in the past. And then it's like I've just built that now. And it's at the point where I've met so many good people that it's like it's like they're not even like my community. It's like these people are like my friends. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like I... To go off subject a little bit, I was watching a thing very similar to what we're doing now with the streamer that I know, and the people that were talking to him were like, it said the exact same thing I said to you, like, how do your friends and family feel about you streaming? And he basically said, like, you know, my family don't really understand it. I'm not really close. And he was like, you know, I don't really have friends. Um, and it was one of those things where I sort of, it something in me kind of clicked that moment, and I was like, it's not that I don't have friends. Like, I've got friends. Do you know what I mean? But, like, you know, and we will always be friends. Um, but it's, like, people I'm genuine. It, it, it's basically just me and Zoe. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, outside of... I've got friends, like, you know, from school and stuff, and we're still close. Like, you know, we prob maybe we don't speak every day and maybe we don't see each other as much as I would like. But for the most part... It's just me and Zoe. But that doesn't mean we're not friends, but it's just like streaming now is yeah, my... Yeah, adults at the end of the day, yeah. though. Like, that's, yeah. the, that's the difference, you know. You get... It, it gets to a stage where, you know, it's not about, you know, going and meeting up in a park and getting yeah. pissed. Like, that's like what kids do. Streaming know? is the most sociable you know? thing I do in my life. Like, mm -hmm. this is literally my social time when I come on and I speak to people in the chat. And I get to listen about how their day has been, what they've been up to. And for me, it's like, that's where I'm spending time with my friends. And I think maybe like my friends that I've grown up with kind of feel like I'm neglecting them maybe a little bit. Um, and it's not like intentional, you know, we're still, we're still friends, but it's like my... I've... That's not what you told me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like this, this is, this is this is uh, my social time where I'm trying to do things. So I would say I'm successful because it's like, I know now that I've got like core people that I can speak to every day and it doesn't really matter too much what I'm playing. Um, I know some streams are going to be more popular than others, but I know like core people are still going to show up because we're still going to go through the conversations of what they've been up to, what I've been up to. And it's like, you know, I've built the community not around the game I'm playing, but just around the relationship I've got with those people. Yeah. And I think, I think, um, to be honest with you, when you say like success, I think there's two sides to, but well, there's a lot of sides to it. But I think if you can, I think saying, are you, you consider yourself a successful streamer, people are going to, um, look at that in different ways. They're going to look at it financially, the community that they built, the friendships they've made. Um, it's difficult to say, are you successful? Um, <clears throat> I think in regards to that question, I think the only time that I would say that I was successful as a streamer is if I was able to turn the stream on every single, well, say Monday to Friday at a set time for five hours and you know as soon as you turn the stream on you've got a couple of thousand people straight the way in the stream uh you're making a minimum of a hundred dollars a minimum of a hundred dollars every single time you go live and you can you can then get up after your four or five hours after your four or five hours of being live you've made you've made your money for the day so it's like going to work right you've made your money for the day or more um you can get up you have free time you know it's it i think it's not about the money but it's about how wealthy you are i think someone that makes six hundred and fifty thousand a year and hasn't got a minute of their day free they're not wealthy but someone that can 
do something for four hours or you know trade stocks or something invest money might only make sixty thousand a year spends 50 but invest 10 you know and they've got loads of family time and everything like that they're the wealthy people they're the people that are, uh, are going to be happier in life not the people that just because they've got 650,000 in the bank, but they're working 12 hour days every single day. They don't see their family from one day, one end of the week to the other end of the week. They're not successful. So I think for me to be successful, I'd have to be able to do this for less amount of time than I am awake in a day. So like, say if I'm awake for 12 hours, I want to do this for five hours maximum and be able to have the rest of my day completely open and free to go and do what I want to do and not have it as a job, but have it as, you know, as something where it's like I'm successful. It, it's nearly running itself. Like I don't have to stream every single day. Like I'd say Nitro Luke is a successful streamer. Yeah. That like he can take a day off. He can afford to take a day off. Cause if you, if you really put all the sums together and how he says in his stream about how much he's making, you know, he's making about 30 grand a month. Okay. That's a lot of money. A lot of it goes to his businesses that he's got, his charities or whatever the, the, the class does. I don't know. But like, I think that side of it is completely different. You know, like if like he can, you, 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 you kind of get where I'm coming from. I suppose yeah. like, if I could, if I could like go and spend all day with my kids, and then when they've gone to bed, come here and stream for five hours or four hours, let's say, make my income. I've had my whole day with my kids. I've got up in the morning, took them to school, done this, done that, <coughs> made them dinner, put them to bed, <coughs> then turned the stream on, made my money. So it's like you've got all your family life. But you you can also do a little bit of work and still be making enough money to cover everything you need to do, covering your car, covering your bills, covering your rent, everything like that. So I think that's the only time that I would consider myself as a su successful streamer. Yeah, I was going to say got... it. Oh, go on, go on, Dave, go on. I can't go, on, mate. <laughs> All right. I was just going to say there's so many factors to being successful because the thing is like i in my opinion like there the only time you're not successful is like when you give up do you know what i mean it's like that's the only time really like you it's kind of a small success every day when you go live every time you you're trying is like a small Mini success victories. Uh, yeah kind of <laughs> but it's like you know like if i if i looked at james I, and someone said if someone said to me like do you think james is a successful streamer i'd be like yeah and they'd be like, what are you basing that off? And I'd be like, well, his community is strong enough to financially support him that he can live his life to at least a bare minimum. You know, I don't know what your financial state is, but his community, and he's even said it, is is strong enough to be able to support what he's trying to do as a career. And like, yeah. if I looked at Dave and I was like, you know what? Dave has accomplished so much and like, you know, sponsorships and places that some some streamers are never going to be able to get to like to me that's these are all like successful things do you know what i mean but it's it's yeah. it's it looks it's very different when you when yeah you're when you are the out. person engaged in your own success it's always going to be different so that's i'm a, a successful businessman okay if that makes sense. yeah yeah and, yeah and, and i i can afford to i could afford if you want my honest opinion to um get someone else to do the work and I wouldn't need to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, but I That's choose a lie. To... You've got fucking 10 kids. You would. Yeah. Got... <laughs> well, yeah, that is true. Uh, I've, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I also, I also look at the business. Like, I think I look at the business side of Facebook as well. And just, just going by this, um, it's not financially viable for me to make money off of Facebook. And I know that sounds really pathetic, but when you start looking at the, the the limits and stuff that you start looking at tax and things like that, and you're looking at your your, your income, financially doesn't make sense for me to earn a penny off of stars or off of um, off of things. I know, I know that sounds pathetic. I know that sounds really pathetic. But when you start looking at the tax rate, well, it know, doesn't I'm, because I'm at sure the end of the day, if you're if you're making more money 
from a business that you've got that is yours and it's working and you're making more money from that, you know, to make money in star donations would hinder the other business nearly. So it, it would come down as a second income and it basically would take, would take my, would take my tax, my, my, my tax from 20% up to 40%. So if, if that's okay, if you're earning say 300,000 pound a year and that 40% is coming off because then you're still earning like what, 200 grand or whatever it is 175 whatever it is right you're still earning a lot if you go from earning 60 grand a year or i can't work out what it is 50 grand a year but then you're only making 52 but then they're still taking 40 percent off you're still earning only earning like 36 if you see what i mean so in effect you're losing money do you see what i'm saying so it, it financially doesn't make There's, sense for me there's something in my in my chat there's something in my chat and it's not it's not really a question, but I feel like it's a good sort of, well, I say a good statement, but I want to hear what you guys have to say on it. Ash has wrote, is it really all about the money you make from streaming though? I'd say success is based on the community you build from scratch, which makes you a success in the streaming world. Some of the biggest streamers I never watch, but I would love coming into all three of our streams. So... Nice. Yeah, the prob the problem the problem is the problem is to stream full time you need to make money. Like there's yeah. there's the no nitty, the nitty gritty the nitty gritty thing that people don't realize is at the end of the day, if you want to do this as a full time and clash yourself as a fucking full time streamer, you need to be able to survive on it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like. Uh, I know Ash, I was speaking to Ash last week over a video call. And like the thing is, if it comes to if it comes to the nitty gritty, if you if you say I'm a successful streamer, but I do this full time and I, I and I don't have anywhere to live. How how, how does that work? Hmm. You can't be successful. You can't clash yourself as a successful streamer if you've got nothing to to like nowhere to live and it's not paying it's not helping you pay the bills at the end of the day you know uh, the streaming industry is a, a billion dollar industry it was just know? an estimate marcus i can see you in the chat it's just an estimate we don't we don't know what actual tax figures are on you know actual sums of what people earn it's just an estimate um but yeah, it's this the and that's the thing is and it's like you know that goes back to being successful i would say i'm successful on the community side but my my thing is, you know, I don't stream full time. Um, I stream every. I mean, I, I don't. Know, it depends what your class is. Full time is full time hourly, or is it daily? Like I try and stream every day. I don't like to take days off streaming, but you know, I might only stream <laughs> like three hours a day. Um, so if you if if you're streaming if you're streaming eight hours a day, or even six eight hours, hours eight hours a day, five days a week. That's full-time that's a full-time yeah. so, 40, 40 hours 40 yeah. hours a week so I, class is full -time. I don't i don't stream that you know i stream every day mostly as long as i can I, I say as long as i can i try and keep it to three hours now um and i'd say the community i've got is like successful um but mm. then things like where where and it's 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 hard to say without putting it and it coming across completely wrong like the the um i would never quit my job i don't think to stream full time unless it went completely insane like and in, in, unless like stars and donations and supporters went like to maybe double what i earn from my actual job because okay, i got a, i got a question for you then right all right you make you make five grand from one month of streaming right then you then you stream another month now you're still working then you stream another month you make another five five thousand us dollars not pounds us dollars because that's right. what stars converts to right and you make another five thousand dollars now you've made 10 grand in two months that's a fucking lot of money still yeah? still wouldn't quit my job it wouldn't be enough for me no you're having a laugh. No, I wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't. Five grand a month and you wouldn't quit your job. No. 
Not until not until that was consistent for at least sort of, I don't know, maybe like six months or longer. But it, but it would only get better if you had more time to focus on the stream. But how do you know that? You can't predict the future. Streaming could literally, the world of streaming as we know it could change by tomorrow. Yeah, but so could your job. Uh, it depends, it depends actually, no. For someone or no, my my job is like super financially secure. I basically, I basically can't lose my job unless I'm really, really trying. And the thing is, me trying to explain my financial situation to my mortgage company that I owe like 140 grand to, and they'd be like, okay, that's all well and good. You made 10 grand in the last two months, but how much are you going to earn next month? And I'd be like, well, I don't, I don't know, because it's based on people's generosity. They would be like... Yeah, that's not really a safe safe risk for us, is it? Do you know what I mean? So for me, and you've got to think, like for me, I'm really fortunate in the fact that my work pay all my prescriptions. They pay for my glasses. They pay for my dentist. They pay for my private physio. They pay for basically anything I need. Like there's no reason I would give that up lightly. Do you know what, do you know what I'm saying? So if, if it was a job I didn't care about and if I was on minimum wage or whatever you know, 100%, I would scrap it for 10 grand in in two months because that's what I would have earned maybe in that year. But that's not what I'm on. It's not the situation that I'm in. So... If, if I got to... If, if I got to... If I got to... Let's just, let's just say, if I... I mean, even with my business, I can take a, I can take a backward step from my business and, and, and earn enough to live on. Like, so I could still... I could I, I wouldn't even have to do anything in my business and if I was to earn five grand then it would be five grand. But I wouldn't feel committed to it. What's the point? Like I can with, I'm just saying my... I'm just saying I'm just saying if you if you were earning five grand a month from streaming like how how do you not have the thought of holy shit, I'm making five grand a month from, you know, doing something I love. I can, I can scrap Because you're just sitting else. there for eight hours a day. Like, when you can earn that in and a couple I, of days. Well, I, I mean, well, I don't know what you're doing to earn that in a couple of days. <laughs> whatever you are, mate, send it my way. Teach me, teach me the ways, <laughs> mate. Teach me the way. That, 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 no, that, me, that, is... that takes me nearly three months to make that kind of type of money. Right. It's, but, taken but... Me, it's taken me over a year to save half of that. Okay, okay, James, on the flip side, let me ask you this. You're making five grand a month from streaming, yeah, and it's been two months, you made 10 grand. Do you quit your job? I quit my job when I was making 500 a month. Okay, okay, but then the next day, the next day you sh you stream, uh, something happens on your stream, escalates, and your page gets banned. You've got savings because there's you, no way you've spent all that yeah, money. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? It's like the, my point is like you never know what's around the corner. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, but like w w no one ever is going to know what's around the corner. Ex but what, what then... I'm trying to get at, what I'm trying to get at is, I think at the end of the day, you know, I think if you're making like that type of money, like to me, that type of that's a lot of money. Oh, it's insane, me, insane right? amount. And like when Dave's saying, "Oh, you can make that in a couple of days," <laughs> genuinely, Dave, tell me how because I, <laughs> I will. But, but I own I own my own business. Has been going for for three years now, and like I don't, I don't want to say too much, but when you're earning sort of close to forty grand a month, like five grand's not a lot when that's your advertising. That's that's not even your advertising budget. You see what I'm saying, like. Like yeah. it depends, but it depends on the situation. Like, it, it depends uh, on what you're doing. Yeah, hmm. like people put people have fucking five thousand in their pockets in America, just walking around the streets, you know, just to go and buy a, a, a new bloody pair of shoes. You know, it's all but, just di different people and how how they live. I suppose at the end of the day, the, the other the other thing is, it's like like my personal um, my personal thing is is that. I take a very basic wage out of my business. But for instance, if I needed to go buy a new car, if I needed to go buy something, then I just go buy it. You see what I'm saying? Like when when you work for someone, you physically are work you're you're offering a service for 
it, your agreed payment, right? So you work a nine to five job. Let's say, for instance, you get 150 quid, right? That 150 quid, I'd like to think most people on 150 quid a day would be able to put a bit of money aside, right? When you're working for a business, like for me, I put a lot of money into the business um, and I still do to buy materials and things like that. But then at the week, I know I'm going to get massive lumps on back so whenever um it's like like i said earlier though it's all about for... invested remember i, I like i, yeah, I literally I... said it like you could go to work and be doing 12 hours a day absolutely you know ripping yourself a new one and earning six hundred and fifty thousand a year or whatever or you can invest the money you can you know start your own business you can you know, that's at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. Like you're only taking a, a percentage. You're just giving yourself a wage, but all the money is going yeah. back into the business to keep the business growing and getting bigger and bigger. You just invest in everything continuously. So like, I, I sh that to me is a successful business. It's, it's a, like it's a, I'm just going to say it's a very successful business. It's, it's, um, if I don't want to work tomorrow, I haven't got work tomorrow. If I don't want to work for the next week, I ain't got work for the next week. But the thing that keeps me going and five grand a month isn't, it's, it's not a small amount of money by any means. Do you know what I mean? If I've personally got that, that's more than what I take home in a month, right? But sometimes you just got to think long, long, long term. Do I want to be sitting in this chair eight hours a day for the next God knows how long when I haven't got that freedom? If, if you know what I mean, like I, I wouldn't, I haven't, I haven't got that freedom, at least with the business. I know that if I don't want to work next Wednesday, well, I'm just taking the day off, but I'm still going to get paid for it. So I mean, like that to me, like that's how I consider myself successful in the fact that, yeah, I think that's even the to the point of well I think that's the difference as well, though, with the likes of, I suppose, you know, an actual job to doing this you know to being a streamer is like you're not the boss and the boss well in your case it's different but i'm just saying like for a lot of people it's like you know you go to work as alex says they pay for this they pay for that they pay for this so like if they're paying for everything then yeah obviously fucking stick it out just do this on the side as a part-time thing because you know it, it only can it can only stay as a part-time thing and never take it too seriously but I think if it's if it's gonna get to a stage where, you know, as something you said earlier, you know, you're getting uh, contracts and stuff with amounts of cash where it could potentially change your life. I mean, it's yeah, something that, that you, you you've got to juggle and you've got to kind of you've got to sit and ask yourself and question yourself and ask that, other people as well. That contract was for a fixed term, and in that fixed term, I know that I could have people still working and I could be doing this. And in effect, earning double the income. Do you know what I mean? But then... Um, Goes back to what you said about tax. Tax. Yeah, and it's not a tax avoidance. It's just being clever with it. You know, it's, it's there. You've got to pay it. But do I want to be paying 20% or do I want to be paying 40%? And I know which one I'm always going to choose. I'd rather, like, literally take a pound wage out of my business every month or every day, right, just as a pound. I know... I've come under slave labor or whatever, right? But but you know what I mean? <laughs> like the minimum wage and then take the rest in dividends and then have the contract as like I, mean, I think I think also, can I just say this, right? While we're on this, I think a lot of streamers are missing the point of when you say it's a full time job, you work for yourself, you're self employed, you are you are basically trying to secure your own future. So when you're not streaming you know there's no point in stream you need to be more um you need to be more careful with your time there's no point in working for eight hours and streaming for them eight hours now that's great if you're getting stars all the time that's great if you've got a supporter badge that's great but there's other things that you can be doing there's 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 a, an actual business that you could make like for instance i could call it dave saxon gaming set up an actual official business with it now once you do that then you start taking things further you've now got a business in place you, you then start making your own logos when whether that's your gaming logo 
you can then all start to open um, and your mindset should go from just streaming all the time. To how can I make this a business that can start generating income when I'm not actually streaming? And I think that's where a lot of people are missing the mark um, in terms of, let's say, for instance, James, you was to set up a website tomorrow and you was to start, I don't know, um, you was to set up a website and you was to start selling advertisements on that website. So you're making your videos and you you find a way of talking to Google to place advertisements on your website. Now, every time someone goes to your website, you're earning money while you're sleeping. You see what I'm saying? Like, they, if, if people are going to make a full-time job out of things, it's not always the eight hours that you're streaming. Um, I mean, I work crazy hours sometimes. And look, but like I say, I know that if I want tomorrow off, I have tomorrow off. Um, I've just um, got to say quickly, I've actually uh, I've got to go and pick Zoe up from her uh, from her friend's house. You guys can keep talking if you want. I'm going to send my viewers. How long, uh, we, how long have we actually been going? Like three three hours twenty minutes. Oh my! God, yeah. Really? Um, and I've got to go and pick Zoe might... up, which is about twenty to... miles away, and then come back. Um, okay. So, I mean, you can keep going if you want. I can send my viewers uh, over to you guys. and um, No, because you... we'll have to change all the layout and everything like that because you'll disappear and then it all changes. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, no, it's all good. It's real all good. quick, real quick, Dave. Um, Ash wanted to. Ash has asked me, uh, did you have involvement in designing the sneak glow-in-the-dark shaker? Uh, not... Not designing it, but it was a part of a, a group that was um, a, a group of streamers that get together and basically we all have like an input with the ideas that are kind of made and then we all kind of shortlist that list down to a smaller list and then from that list that we've made, um, things start coming into play like the profitability of it, the actual production of it, the design time of it and Pretty much the turnaround time of it so i didn't design it um but the ideas for the glow in the dark shaker were um well well i had to say in it you had a say in it ash <laughs> they, he's been fucking saying about it all stream every I, tell, I look over to the chat every now and then i just see can you ask dave about the glow in the dark shaker I've seen it like fucking 10 times mate ash loves that glow in the dark shaker yeah, that was one of the ideas. The other one was a uh, pixie red. It was called the glow in the dark one. Sounds better. We shortlisted it down to but the glow in the dark one was definitely the the one we we liked. More. <laughs> um, but I mean, mate, we could literally say I could. I've literally we we've got some questions we didn't even get to ask. Will, um, we, will we just ask them very quick and just get uh, some, like? Small answers, or do you have to leave right now? I mean, Alex? I've got a uh, yeah, because Zoe's got work in the morning. She's got to wake up at seven, and I've got to go and pick her up. I told her I'd be there at uh, no later than ten, and she's literally messaged me twenty minutes ago okay, saying, she, "Can you come you get me them, now?" You want to do them quick or not? Without um, changing the loadout, load out, just like keep it as it is. And... Yeah, uh, we'll have to, I'll have to redo it though, because when when Alex leaves, it's going to change our positions where our yeah, it's going to change the uh, display capture That's positioning. It just yeah. All oh, right. Um, so but... what, I, what I'll do then is um, let me just add a display capture here. And uh, no, he's I'm getting off it. as well though, Ash. They, you guys are getting off, are you? I'll stay on and I'll ask Dave these uh, these four questions. Right. Okay. What I'll do yeah. then is I will. Where? Where? Hang on, where's my dashboard? I'm just going to leave it at that for now. It's the wrong button. Has it worked? Right. Uh, uh, no, uh, I'll just use that display. Yeah. Right. Uh I'll send I'll send people over to you, James. Alex, I appreciate today, by the way, mate. Mate, it's been good. I could literally if Zoe if Zoe wasn't at her friends, I could literally just stay on here talking for ages. Because there's a there was a few other things that um 
I wanted to uh, speak about. But I mean, maybe, maybe we'll just do a part two at some point. You know, part two. I love it. Um, I love it. <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been good, mate. You know, it's uh, nice to speak to you as it always is. And um, yeah, likewise, you know, um, big love. It's been great. I've I've I've. Uh, it's been very. Uh, informative i believe the word would be people people in my stream are like you know they've genuinely put things like this is like super interesting and stuff because it's like i said mate it's the it's the main thing why me and james love it i think is just because there it's like when you started talking about some of those things it's like there was the, i was kind of there like oh my god and it's like i was like proper in the moment like i you think know. i think you know what i think we should just do like a dave saxon part two i don't we can do a dave saxon part <laughs> I think two it'll, mate. Uh... I think it'll keep people interested. Yeah, yeah. And we could pro probably even do it next week. Uh, maybe, maybe. You never know. I just got a yeah, really man. loud notification. Um, but what I will do then, James, I'll send everyone uh, over uh, to you. Um... No, no, no. I think I think it's best. I think, oh, genuinely, I think it's best that we just we just we just all caught and just go with doing another stream either next week or the week after. Okay, fine. Um, we can we yeah. can pick up, you know, where we've kind of left off, and I think I think it would just be good because I do think that we've got a lot of interesting things that we've spoken about, and we could just literally speak about them again. Yeah, uh, further down the line, instead of you leaving and then not being here and stuff. So I think it's only uh, only good to do it that way. All right, cool. Well, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. I'll um. You know, we'll arrange something and we'll uh, try and remember yeah. where we left off at, and we'll uh, we'll talk. But yeah, unfortunately, I've got to run. I've got to run because it's gonna be like half right, hour mate. drive there, half hour drive back. No problem, bro. Um, well, I'll see you in a bizzle. I will. Um, um, I'm I will just gonna end my stream real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. I will see you guys uh, later on because I'm gonna disconnect, shut the PC down, and everything. Okay, mate. All right, I will uh, see you and James later on then, Dave. Big love. Yeah. Take care, mate. I'll see you in a Bye, bit. James. Bye. Uh, oh, it's not. Oh, I'm going to have to close Discord, aren't I? Is it going to. Oh, guys, you know what? It's not, it's not going to show my. Okay, guys. It's not going to show my camera, I don't think. It's not going to show my camera, but you guys can hear me, right? Um, I've got to get off, guys. Big love. It's been an amazing stream. Sorry I can't stay on longer. I've got to go and pick Zoe up, otherwise she'll kill me. Um, but we'll get Dave back on for a part two. We'll get Dave back on for a part two. Um, really interesting, especially hearing about when, um, you know, his page was being targeted and stuff and his account got hacked and... You know, there are a lot of things behind the scenes that some streamers have to go through that you might not always know about. Um, but yeah, I can't get my camera up because Discord is still trying to use my camera over uh, Streamlabs, so it won't let me show it on Streamlabs. Um, but listen, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. What day is it tomorrow? Saturday. I'll be on at some point tomorrow. I'm not sure when, um, but I'll be around so uh yeah i'll end it there i'll go pick her up i'll go pick her. everyone's like go pick her up uh thank you for all the likes the all all the we gained some followers today uh loads of, a load of stars so big big love for that um and we will reflect on this tomorrow we will reflect on this tomorrow um so uh make sure to stop by whenever whenever we go live i'll try and let you guys know and we'll reflect on some of this tomorrow all right big love guys i'll see you tomorrow take care of yourself stay safe as always um and thank you for, for everything. Make sure you check out Dave Saxon Gaming on Facebook and Irish Vader also on Facebook. Um, and Big Lev, I will speak to you tomorrow. Big Lev,